Oh my god! A Cyrus stream? Hello? At this hour? All right, okay. My socials are socialing. Everything is okay. I did the thing. <gasps> Hello, chat! Oh my god, I am live while the sun is up. Can you believe it? Because I can't. I, did, is, is the, the audio, audio echoing? <gasps> oh, are we getting, oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Okay, are we good now? Is, is, how about now? We're good? Okay, that was weird. I don't know what happened. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. No, I know exactly what happened. I turned on the mic camera. The mic camera? The camera mic. But we're good now. We're good. We're chilling. We're good. Hello. I, yeah. Can you believe it? I'm live while the sun is up. This is crazy. This is crazy. This will probably never happen ever again. <laughs> oh, Evo! Thank you. This is a super cute top. I love it. It's my. It's one of my club shirts that have yet to see the the light of day, and I already got deodorant on it, so it's not off to a good start. Aestheticals. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to coming to your bedrooms and your stay. Thank you, and CJ. Thank you for the 36 month resub. We're at three years. We love to see it. Thank you. You can't even see chat. It's so light out that chat is invisible. What if I just put you all here? There. All right. Well, y'all y'all have a new home. Is it comfy? Is it cozy? Do you like it here? Oh, that window view is cute. Thank you. It creates so much light in this room that like not only do I get overheated by my PC, but the sunlight just fucking kills me. It just bleh. It's so bad. But oh my god, I heard we're here to see Sarah ruin her makeup and win best on how many times it happens. Look, listen. So the plan for today is to finally start and walk her. Ah! <laughs> I have been waiting, waiting for this moment for two years. Back when I started playing this game, I started playing this game two weeks before, um, before Endwalker came out, and I told my chat that I would be able to, to catch up in time. It took me a year and a half. I started this game in like November, I think. No, yeah, like end of November. It's April. <laughs> it is April of 2023, but we made it! We made it! Oh my god. I don't know what to expect. I just know I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I refuse. I refuse. Hey, we're Endwalking it, huh? Well, you caught up before Endwalker was finished. No new expansion yet. I know, I know. Now I'm, I'm, now I'm catching up. Now I'm finally caught up. Well, not completely caught up, but you know, zero cries. No, I'm not crying. It's not gonna happen. That cry counter is staying at 58. I will I confess something though. Um, I was showering yesterday. And I was listening to Knights of the Round Table, so like uh, the Thornton Trials music. And yes, that is what I was listening to while I was scrubbing my body, and I started bawling my eyes out. The second that like the like the rhythm started picking up, I started sobbing. I was crying. I was in the shower against the wall, like. <laughs> For our ship, <laughs> like, it's so bad. I'm so pathetic. I got my emotional support Orshi here as well. I got him in my cubbies. He's on my lap. We're gonna be okay. Hi, Sumi. Pearl, hello. Welcome. Uh, Pirali, Pirali 515. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the coverage of Benjamin's and your stay. Bro, I had a pre cry. I had to get it out. I had to get out the jitters and everything. If you're an easy crier, you're gonna cry like a dozen times. I'm not. I am an easy crier. I'm a bitch, but it's not gonna happen. I'm telling you, chat, I am not going to cry, okay? So, 
unfortunately. Okay, chat, open your mouth and say ah. Ah! Why are we saying ah? Why is Zentus making us say ah? Ah! Ah! Are you trying, are you gonna clip me opening my mouth? What's going on here? <laughs> Zentus! <laughs> Who, go, who dodged? Who dodged? Any dodgers? Any dodgers? <laughs> to everybody that got gifted a self, welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge and your emotes and your stay. Eriki? Eriki? Erikai? Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Hello, Tilly. What's up? Yes. So I have a confession chat. I don't remember the story. <laughs> I'm gonna remember what happened in Shadowbringers like as we progress through the MSQ, but I don't remember Shadowbringers at all and I just finished it. I remember simping for Grahatia and I remember and I remember uh, denying my love for Emmett, who I certainly do not love. I do not like him at all, okay? Look, he's hot. But if he had white hair, it'd be another story. Y'all know my type. You know my type. Give me a baddie like Thancred or Yangjie. I'm in. Even like the even like the blue hair, like Orshifa, the light blue hair. I'm in. I'm in, baby. All right. Time to watch Shadowbringers recap. Maybe her Fenris is showing. Stop. <laughs> You're right. You don't have to be so loud though. <laughs> the Crystal Tower glowing through the pussy. True. That as well. White hair and blue hair's peak? It is. Seriously. Ever since I was a kid, like, I loved anime characters that have blue hair or white hair. Like, it is just... It's ingrained in me. You know? Man. I... I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm scared. I have a lot of feelings. I don't actually know what to expect with Endwalker. I'm under the assumption that I'm gonna have to go fight Zodiac and Hydaelyn. That's the only thing that I can like possibly think of. I've got Aardvark, Aardvark, Aard, Aardbert, Aardbert. I got Aardbert in me now. So I'm assuming that's gonna play some sort of some sort of plot point later. We have Gaia. Is Gaia gonna be relevant to the to the to the plot now? Like I don't I like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to what to expect. Chat better keep their goddamn mouth shut. True. A smile better suits a spoiler. So we do have a command, or I do have a special word that I use if I actually want chat to help me out. It's called strawberry milk. So if you see me asking for some strawberry milk, that means I want your assistance. And you can do command strawberry milk in the chat to bring up the prompt. But if I say that, then I want your help. And then I want an actual answer that obviously is spoiler free. Obviously, be good. My mods will snipe you. Um, but yes, strawberry milk is very yummy. We love strawberry milk in this household. Those sleeves are so dope. Thank you. Thank you, Sumi. <gasps> Hi, Stacy. Damn, nice IRL glam. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. Stacy, how you doing? Also, Mr. Happy, it's nice to see you too. How are you? Hello, Ray. Ray, you always complain that like I'm on super late and I'm gaming really late and you can never join. And now that I'm actually live during the day, you're pissed? You get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Nissan, how are you? Hello, John. Hi. How do you milk a strawberry with its titties? The strawberry titties. Actually, that's a good question. How how is strawberry milk formed? Do they take strawberry juice and mix it with the milk? That sounds curdly and gross. Hi, Kieran. Ready to add absolutely zero images to the crying thread? Look, it's, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna be on my best behavior. I'm not gonna simp for anybody. And I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna be down bad and I'm not gonna cry. It's that simple. If I have to see Alfino and Alize's father again, you know, that's a different story. But it's not gonna happen. Everyone that I've simped for has died. Or is just, you know, not real to me, okay? Orshifa, the one man that I actually loved and would have given everything up for, died saving me. Emmett, could have been hotter. 
You know, if he was an Ellison, if he had, if he had like white hair, maybe if he did, if he lasted longer, I would have liked him more. But I killed him. I killed that man too. Grahatia is my wife, but like he doesn't count. He just does not count. <laughs> I have to sneeze. Okay, it's not coming. Never mind. Never mind. Hello, Captain Straight Edge. Hello. You do simp for some without saying no one can never simp? Wait, what? I do simp for some without saying no, so no one can. I, I do simp for some without saying, so no one can never simp? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? Reword that. That's not clicking in my head. Have you done the end walker drill? I have, but we will watch it again because I, I need to set the mood. I gotta refresh the memories. Denial is an Egypt in river. Stop! No one trusts me. Why don't y'all ever trust me? You have no faith in me, chat. Cyrus gaze is a red shirt of gaming. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Hold on, my bra strap. I need to fix my my booby strap. Hold on. It's like it's 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 itzing. It's it's loose. It's loosey goosey, and I don't want my my bra strap flying around. Red shirts are the guys who always die in Star Trek. See, this is something that my mom would understand. Me, however, no. But yes, true. They're trusting you to lie. <sighs> the easy solution is simply to send for no one. Then everyone lives, right? Exactly. Exactly. I'm scared now that like Alfino and Alize are gonna be fatherless. I've already adopted them, like I'm their mommy now, and I refuse to accept otherwise. But like also, I don't want their dad dying. He's an asshole, but like I can fix him. You know? He gave my children daddy issues. I can fix him. I also have daddy issues. I could be his next problem. We don't trust you yet. Okay, go listen to Dragon Song without crying. Do it. I cannot. No, you cannot make me do that. You cannot make me do that. Okay, to be fair though, to be fair, chat, do you wanna know how pathetic I am? Listen. We started Shadowbringers, and within like 30 minutes, that first cutscene made me cry so hard that I fell out of my chair and sat on the floor and sobbed. Because like, you know, like we were falling through like space, like through the ethereal plane or whatever the fuck, and all of these like memories and people are like going past me and then in slow-mo right in front of my face is, oh, don't look at me so. And I lost it. I lost every ounce of willpower in my body and I just sobbed. Even in 5.3, in 5.3? God, what was it that fucking happened? Oh, Grahatia was like risking his life for us. And then I was like, BRB chat, forgot to mute my mic. I was like, oh, I need to get more water. Forgot to mute my mic. I went into the kitchen, sat on the floor and started sobbing. I cannot do not mention that bird. Oh my god, my eyes are already are, are already getting a watery fuck. Oh my god. Okay, check uh, on the topic of water. I actually do need to refill my water, so I will be right back, okay? I literally just my my washer my kitchen is right there, so I'll give my kitchen. Phil, twitch in your eye already? Shut the fuck. Shut up. Shut up. I can only assume, like, I can't fully see them. I could be completely wrong, but is that CJ teabagging Sybil?
No, no, there's nothing wrong. Hi, James. James, what's up? Hello, hello. Sybil looked like she wanted some Highlander coochie in her face. And you know what? Good for her. It's what she deserves. Okay, I'm back. Hello, Promethean. It's nice to see you too. My morning? Girl, my morning is long gone. It is 7.30 p.m. I love this lo-fi track, but I love the music from that zone. I can't even hear it. I don't even have my headset on. I'll put on my headset. Don't blow out my eardrums, chat. Be good. Or not. I don't know. Ugh. I need that Eevee plush so bad. Isn't it fucking cute? I wish that the ears, like, were up more so you could actually see them. Slowly but surely, my backdrop is just gonna be, like, Eevees, Gengars. I think I have four. Yeah, I have four Gengars. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four. When I move into my new, uh, my new home, you better believe I'm gonna have a bunch of body pillows in the backdrop. <laughs> Emmett was just the beginning. If y'all got any Gengar emotes, I want to see them in the chat. Let me see your spooky Pokemon emotes. Omni, how are you? Dang, look at that view. I've always wanted to live in a high-rise. Honestly, living in a condo is nice. But if I'm going to be completely blunt, it's fucking frustrating. I have had so many instances where... Where, like, the power was out and I could not either get to my floor or get downstairs. Now, I'm on the 30th fucking floor. Do you know how awful that is? I am on the 30th floor, I have asthma, and I have arthritis. Taking the stairs is a fucking nightmare. And I've done it. I've fucking done it. 30, yeah, 30 flights of stairs. It's not fun. So I don't think I could ever live in a high rise again. And if I do, I'm not going anywhere above the 10th floor. You know? I will pay extra for a better view, but I have to be, like, low. We will carry you, mommy, or train Wallow to carry you? Please, I'll take both, honestly. Here, let me adjust my camera a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better, I think. Is it better? I don't fucking know. Random question, where did you get that set of shelves to start behind you? Look for something like it. This is from Ikea. This is the Calyx set from Ikea. They have it in white, brown, black. I used to have it in black, but now we replace it with the glossy white. Um, because it looks way better. The light bounces off of it better. You can see my, my plushies a little bit better. And because I always wear black and like my chair is gray, you can see me better. It doesn't look muddy anymore. You could say that Sire wants to live down bad. I do. I am permanently in a state of down battery. Need it for a new place? I got you. If you need any like furniture recommendations or anything, hit me up. I love furniture shopping and stuff. My life is held together by Calyx. Amen. Woof woof woof. Hello, Baconator. What's up? Arr! Not even attractive? Bro, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Who the- Okay, yo, nah. Who the fuck? looks at me and thinks I'm not attractive. Nah, let- Nah, 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 nah. You're either- You either cannot see, have the worst, blandest taste I've, like, I've ever experienced, or you're racist. Because look at me. Look at- Look at me. You're just mad a woman like me wouldn't want to be anywhere near you. You're just disappointed that I would never want to touch you. And it's okay. It's fine. Just accept that. Come to terms with it. Cope. If I could come to terms with the fact that I will not be crying during Endwalker, you can come to terms with the fact that hot women like me want nothing to do with you. You don't find us unattractive. You think we're attractive. You're just mad that you can't get us. And that we're like wildly out of your league. It's okay. I'm in a good mood today, chat. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> I said all that with a smile on my face. I'm in a great mood. <laughs> Mold seed. Like, don't get me wrong, I love bullying. But I like consensual bullying. I love it when my friends are, like, teasing me and I love teasing them back, you know? But if you don't know me, you can't say that shit. 
You know, and I think like this is like a huge problem that is rampant on social media, like on places like Twitch, Discord, etc. Like anywhere that's like very like community based. If you don't know somebody, you do not have the privilege to tease them in a way that is like a bit more personal. Parasocial relationships are so are so much more common now than they were before. And it's fucking scary. I don't like it. I don't like it. I love y'all chat. But come on. <laughs> this has nothing to do with y'all. You know, you know the type of people I'm talking about. We all know those types of people. It's not even just on the internet. Like, it's people in real life too. You know, they think they know you. They think you're buddy buddy because you hung out once. And then it's like they start breaking down all the boundaries. It's like, hello? Who wouldn't bend a knee for your queenship? You're right, duelist. Who wouldn't? Hello? Did I come in? Damn, I come in right in time to see Sire cook at some fool. Oh, neat. Did I come in in time to agree that Sire looks incredible? Yes. <laughs> yes, chat. <laughs> Great timing. You either come in to me talking about, like, puking nacho cheese on a dick or I'm roasting someone to smithereens. This is my first time here and I love it already. Hello, Gino. Welcome. And I see that there's also a lot of other new people here. Hello. Welcome. My name is Syra. I am a Final Fantasy 14 streamer. Normally, I would say that I'm a variety streamer and I play a lot of RPGs and fantasy games, which is true. But for the last, like, year, all I've played is Final Fantasy 14 on stream. So that's all you're getting from me now. I guess you could say I'm a little bit addicted. Welcome, get comfy, get cozy. We are starting Endwalker for the very first time tonight and I'm fucking scared. I'm so scared. I, not, I, I don't know why though. I don't know why I'm scared. I just am, I just am. <laughs> if I ever overstep, please let me know because sometimes I just have a hell of different boundaries than other people and I don't always know when I come, when I cross that line unless someone says something. That's totally fine, Avalon, don't worry. We, if, if you bother me, I will call you out and I'm sure other people will too, but so far you're fine. I, I'm definitely the type to be, to, to let someone know. Like, I don't care how close I am with somebody. If you're upsetting me, if you're making me uncomfortable, I will fucking tell you. Scared is a reasonable emotion. I just don't know what to fucking expect. Also, my shaker isn't closing. Hello, I just want to drink my agua. <gasps> oh my god, I did it. Y'all like my Ishtola sticker? I have a Graha Tia sticker somewhere on it too. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, there. Yee. Should I put another one on? Have you tried shaking it closed? Look, I know what's going to happen if I do that. I'll get wet. And not in the fun way. Okay, chat, do I put Alize or Alfino on here? I kind of want to put Alfino because he's got the little mug. I have Kryle as well. And I also have Grahatia eating a burger. I have so much stuff of Grahatia eating burgers. I don't know why. I don't know why everyone draws him eating burgers, but it's fucking cute. Look at this little like wooden standy I have. Feels Nankman 420. Think of himself as Resub. Look, he eat burger. Eat a burger. He's so cute. Aka, hello. How are you? I also have this low poly sticker of grapes that says remember us. Burger. Boiga. No, I did not see the burger item. Okay, chat. Which one? Who's going on my... Okay, not Graha because I already have Graha on here. But... Eh? Which one? Who's going on my... On my... On my bottle? Oh, the grapes go on? Y'all want the grapes on there? Hold on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, chat. Who's going on? <laughs> Fuck. There. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, everyone is saying the grapes. Kryle and grapes? Graves, grapes, grapes? Okay, the grapes. The grapes. Okay, okay, okay. No how to Kryle is goaded? It, yeah, it's very fucking cute. I could put Kryle. Let me see. I also have this massive Yennefer sticker, but it's like, it's like too big, you know? 
Okay. We'll put Kryle and the low poly grapes. I want to trim this. Chat, can I trim it? We're going to do some arts and crafts. See, this, this is how I prep for Endwalker. I prep for Endwalker not by, like, getting snackies, not by looking at recaps. Simply, I prep by looking at cute stickers and putting them on my bottle. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's put the Remember Us one on because this one I don't need to trim, but Kryle needs to be trimmed. Okay. Um, is that a good spot chat? Let's see. Oh, that could have been good, but Ishtola and the puppy are in the way. Mm, down here maybe? Ooh. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Oh? Hell yeah! It's crooked! I think this is gonna be the spot though. I just have to align it like really well. I think it's still crooked, but we ball. And now let's get Kryle on here. So Kryle, this was, this is cut kind of like, it's, it's, it's a really big cut. So I'm going to just get rid of some of that excess white. I kind of wish I did the same for my Ishtola because there's a lot of white, but that's fine. Does anyone know where I can get these stickers? Um, these are from Etsy. I get all of my my stuff from Etsy. So if you see anything that's like cute Dragon Age stuff, like cute Dragon Age stickers, uh, Final Fantasy stickers, anime stickers, keychains, all of it is from Etsy. I love supporting uh, artists and like other creators on that site. I buy like cosplay stuff from there. I get I get fucking everything from Etsy. Um. So, yeah. And sometimes I get them from cons too. That's correct. But most of the time, artists at cons have Etsy shops. So, I was able to actually meet some of the artists that I follow, which was really cool um, at Comic Con not long ago. Ta da! Now I got Kryle and the Remember Us grapes. Yeah! How do I turn the brightness up on this game? Go to your settings and crank the brightness like any other game. Or maybe fix your monitor settings. Get rid of the excess white Cyrus Saul's races. <laughs> I'm in 2023! Nary a lie was uttered. But yeah, I can try like after stream or another day posting some of the artists that I follow in the Final Fantasy chat if any of y'all are interested in like some of the more specific things that I have. Oh my God, did I just lose my voice? What's happening here? <clears throat> Getting Final Fantasy 14 stuff on Etsy without having been caught up on Endwalker is dangerous. Don't worry. I'm like surprisingly really good at dodging spoilers. I, um, what my eyes do is I skim past everything. Like I, so th this is how I scroll through stuff, okay? So I, I look, but I zone out so I'm not actually looking at my phone. And then if I see like something that looks familiar, for example, like the Four Tom Shield or Graha's red hair, I like, I zone in. And if it looks familiar enough, I click on it. That's how I scroll through Twitter. Like I, I can't remember the last time something has been spoiled for me. I genuinely cannot remember the last time something has ever been spoiled for me because I'm just so used to dodging. I think like you just get used to it. After I, well, I just got used to it after a while. I got used to skimming uh, through social media. There's been so much art I've wanted to send you that's just spoilers. No, 
I'll get there eventually. Oh my god, yes, chat. We have a we have a pepper chat emote. So if you do a uh, Syra chat, you can uh, you can uh, giga pepper it up. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that new emote, courtesy of of Chowder. That's me. That's that's me right now. Cause I'm not gonna cry. I ain't a bitch. Hi, Nixie! Yes, Nixie, we're end walking tonight! End walkie time! How are you? I hope you're having a good day. I'm not! I'm not gonna cry! Good luck, have fun. I'm so excited for you. Thank you! I'm excited too! Nixie has become one of us vamps. Anytime I do MSQ and I see Nixie in chat, I just know that she's sitting there laughing. I just know that she's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man is there anything that i should like prep for or do y'all want to watch the end walker trailer nothing with wrong me? with crying sir lurk too girl there is nothing wrong with crying and that's why i'm not gonna cry miasma hello i'm not gonna cry yoshimi is so good to destroy this woman okay listen if i hear that fucking uh, tomorrow and tomorrow, whatever piano keys, I will die. <gasps> Jay, hello! And we're gonna on MSQ, or are we gonna do a recap first? Ooh, we should do a recap first, yeah. That, that is what should be done first. Wait, I have mail. Is that a Manalane? A Manalane, my boy! My sweet boy, a Manalane, the lofty! Oh, <gasps> thank you for the burger. Thank you, I will take that burger. Oh my god, is that the one, the only, the little Sebastian? Bye bye, little Sebastian. What is this? Meow meow. Meow meow. Would you give me pee? Thank you, Nissan. Meow meow meow. Meow. <laughs> okay. Pass me the mic. I'll lord them for five hours to catch everyone up. Jay. You jest. But I literally will get into a call with you. Just so you could do this. Recap of the supercut of Clips of Sire being wrung out by the story! <laughs> oh my god, I do want to make a cry compilation video. So bad. Like, look at this. I have cried. I have cried 58 times. And at the very least, 40 of these. No. More than that, 45 of these have been from Shadowbringers. Fifty hour Lord Dump stream incoming. Yup, that's the entire stream today. I can't even I won't even actually be playing Endwalker because we're gonna be too busy recapping Shadowbringers. Yeah, Shadowbringers is is very emotional. A lot of Shadowbringers was just me remembering Heaven's Ward. I wasn't even crying because of Shadowbringers. It was because I was remembering Orshifa. <laughs> James, you can do Command FC. We are on Crystal Goblin. And our FC house is in Imperium. We are Ward 42, Plot 2. Hello? Why did you both just come to me immediately? Oh, thank you for the hugs. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So is Jay taking taking this uh this challenge? Is Jay is Jay gonna lord up? I'm waiting. Chat, do we want this? Do we want Jay to spew his knowledge unto thee? Don't put the chat to sleep. Hold on, I'm trying to find a video. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm just a DC traveler. That's fine. You can come hang out. Jay's trying to emotionally prepare himself. Jay is the only man I know that has never cried once during a video game. Okay. Okay, I think this one is good. The story of Final Fantasy XIV Shatterbringers. Okay, this is this is homework chat. 
All right, are we ready? Okay, I'm gonna be just. I'm Welcome gonna just. Comic story and coverage. Beam through this. To the location known as the Crystal Tower. Uh huh. On the first for some time when the hero arrives. Right, with he was trying to bring us over. Right, because we have to, to stop the light or the flood, or not even stop the flood, but like stop. What's his face? Protecting the people from Vothri the from creating a world of just sin eaters because he was using them as pawns, but it was actually Emmett Selk. Emmett Selk is the one who made Vothri because Vothri was half Light Warden or like half Sin Eater, half human or Hume as they call it. But like, why did, why did Emmett want to do that again? Was it because like he wanted, oh, because of the fucking rejoining, right? Or the joining? And he, did he, <sighs> something like that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, so, uh, warning for those of you in chat who are really new here and don't know me or just don't know this. Uh, my memory is very, very bad. I pay a lot of attention to the story, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't sit with me, like, immediately. So, I gotta, I gotta just do a quick little recap. Those who oppose the Castario, they discovered that Yulmore is actually led by Lord Von... The world got split into 14, they want to rejoin it. Yeah, 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 yeah. ...continues their adventures. Emmett Selk simply uses his power to appear and lecture them about the days of the Asians. Next, the party heads to Ratika Greatwood, where they are in search of Ishtola, who they learn... I cannot... I cannot do this. ...the Amarong, warding of life in a deep mining shaft. I cannot do this. And then Reen was like Minfilia reincarnate, and then she goes to meet Minfilia, and Minfilia is like, here, take my power. Because, like, Minfilia from the first is the one who stopped the flood... And Ardbert was the only soul that didn't, like, disappear or something. He was the one still lingering behind. And he helps us in the end. He gives us his, he lends us his power because we almost got fanoodled. I could talk through it with you and include some other threads that help. Bitch, now! That, le that level 80 dark dark night gear on John Final Fantasy 14 always looks so damn good. I know. John Final Fantasy 14 is so hot. Meteor is so fucking hot. And for what? And for what? The Tempest, the hero begins to explore the Castarian to learn about Rahatia. They learn that Rahatia saw the calamity of the Black Rose in a world where all of the heroes had died. Rahatia decided that he would go back to this. Why does he keep saying Raha? I mean, I know it's technically Raha. Oh, yeah, the big dudes. And Hithlodeus. Right. And yeah, and Ashley Tisdale is back. She agrees to join the Scions in their fight. It is after this that they Oh, yes. And Lunar Bahamut is slain. I remember this. One epic finale for Astinian. Oh, my God. Yeah, and all the all the, the tower thingies. Oh, all the thingies. And, 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 and the, the, and Asahi, uh, Fan Daniel. Oh, my God, Fan Daniel. Miss Ma'am, he was he was creating like like the Astra or the Umbra versions of like the primals or whatever the fuck. Like these like weird, more like spooky ooky versions of them. Something like that, and he's teaming up with Xenos. Fuck it. God, Ashley Tisdale ain't dead. The lunar versions, thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, it's coming together. Okay, chat. I got this. Oh my god. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. Okay, we'll remember it as as we play. Oh my god, why? 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 Why are my stomach? My stomach is like, I'm jump- I'm- ah, 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 I'm- ah. Okay. 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 It's trailer time. Bro, you're so bad with words, but I understood you, and that's what fucking matters. I am bad with my words, but as long as you understand what I'm saying, that's what's important. What's up? What's up, bro? <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh, the little cat boy! Oh my god. I love cat boys. Hello. I give you I give you a little kiss. But it's trailer time. I will be back. Let's rewatch this trailer. Here we go. Okay. Oh, and then there was the moon, and I'm like, oh, what could possibly go wrong? It's just the moon. Oh, I'm like, I'm getting so excited and so nervous. Where are we? Is this the moon? Foot. 
God, it's so cool. God, it's so cool. He got the fucking branded shoes and everything. The final days were upon us. The fabric of the star had begun to fray. Its lands rent by tooth and claw. My baby! Chat, how loud is it? Is it too loud? But I will try to get the, um, I'll try to get, uh, orchestra tickets from a reseller. I don't care how much I have to pay, I'm going. Alize. Are you alright? Okay, I, can look I don't myself, understand you know. Alfino. Is he like a, he's like a summoner, he's, he's a sage here. So is he no longer like a summoner? Cause like before he was like this weird like hybrid. Wasn't As the he? chaos spread, the star seemed doomed to unravel. And yet, bro, why do they all got fucking fine ass? That's what I'm trying to find out. And who is the skinny in writing? I don't think I recognize this dragon. Defiance of that fate. Why? When in doubt, Estinian will always find you will always the be able to jumpy jump. It's all or nothing. I will never forgive them for nerfing his legs. He's still hot. Estinian is still young. But like... This looks like fucking Prometheus. It's giving alien covenant, like, not alien covenant, but like, yeah, no, it's giving alien covenant, it's giving Prometheus. The stage is set. Am I allowed to sit for Fan Daniel? To play their part. He's a fucking little jester ass shit. Tanker needs chapstick. You took your time. Tanker needs some love. Tis as we feared. Stick. Man's lips are looking the ashy as hell. This land I, can, was but I can smooth them out a little bit. The end draweth nigh. I got a lot of saliva for the two of us. Don't worry. New place. I don't know where that is. Another new place. Oh, Charlian, right? Oh, I'm so excited to go here. It looks so like Grecian. It's so pretty. It's giving like Rome. I love it. It's gorgeous. It's very white though. Aren't y'all scared of things getting dirty? Do you have people polishing the walls all the time? I wanna live here. I love being a good library. I don't fucking read, but I knew it. This star still has secrets to tell. Take care, my friend. Who? But who is he talking about? Is it me? Do you want me to take him? So, mother, mother and daddy. While the world is lost to ruin. It would. Come what may, we shall live on. Okay, so is he an we asshole? Must. Is he gonna have a redemption arc? Am I gonna then, fall for daddy? Scions will fight until the heavens fall, until our last breath. So Asha Tinsel's a reaper now, huh? I'm into it. She had her samurai arc, and now she's got her reaper arc. It's a fucking sick sight. <gasps> Sorry. I just realized what time it is. So I am on the moon! Blades dark. And that looks like the first beast if you fight an Amorot. Like during the Amorot dungeon. Tolling the coming of the end. Oh, so God! Oh, he's so hot! Oh, basic white men, why do you have such a grip on me? How the fuck am I on the moon, bro? Wait, what the fuck? Why? I'm like, is that a spaceship? Am I gonna go on a spaceship? Is this Star Wars? 
All right, you know what time it is, chat? You know what I get to do, and I haven't done this in a in a in a while. Okay, I need to find my pins, but. God, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, I'm like about to cry. I, I haven't even started the game and I'm about to cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so pathetic. <sighs> it's time! It's time! Oh shit, trailer starting again. No, 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 no. support cat ears <laughs> ah! okay 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 we got the pepper ears we got the pepper ears we're good to go Now we just sit and wait so we can get back into the game. <laughs> oh, all right, chat, remember. A smile better suits a spoiler, okay? No spoilies. Hello, Cheer Nose. It's time to end walk or something. I don't know. I haven't played the game. Yeah, it's end, it's end walk time. We're walking to the end. Oh, my God. You know what this means? When 7.0 comes out, I will be able to play in real time with y'all. Can you believe that? I'll be able to play at launch. I procrastinated so much that the sun is gone. <laughs> when I started the stream, it was bright as fuck, and now it's dark. <laughs> All right. Oh, <gasps> hello! Oh, no shot. Look at him. Look at him. It's Meteor himself. It's John Final Fantasy. Amazing. Amazing. What's up, G? What's up, bro? How you doing? You doing great? You doing good? Oh, what are you? <gasps> Giving me weed? Bro, he's giving me the goods. Usually he doesn't. Oh, and flowers. Oh, thank you. Here. I'll give you some hot chocolate. It's freshly made. Enjoy your hot chocky. <laughs> I got the Zaza. All right. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. The next ship to sail. Good luck. This man just said good luck to me. Fuck you mean good luck. Bruh. Okay, so the other day, um, I was doing some side quests, and I had to go to, um, like, I was doing the warring triad? I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but it was something, um, and, like, as is law, and I had to go speak to somebody in the Rising Stones, and I almost accidentally spoke to Alfino. I almost initiated the, the Endwalker quest. But I, thankfully, my reflexes were good, and I canceled it. I was terrified. Like, my heart stopped. I was freaking the fuck out. I was like, why is Amandaline's neck weird? But he was just looking all the way down at Pepper. Look, Pepper is baby, okay? It's not her fault that she's a pipsqueak. Let me just pop out chat. Sorry. Who kissed me? Who's kissing me? I'm getting the OBS lag. So, there we go. Chat, say something. My my thing is, is not loading. As this law looks like it smells like a gas station. As this law is nasty. It is crusty. Okay, thank you. There we go. Words upon words. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's working. Alright, we're good. Oh, hello. Oh, you give me head pots. 
I get head pads? And I get I oh I did what or she do the she do the I did, and then and then and then I give you the I did, oh I can't click on you and I do <laughs> All right, okay. Where am I going? Okay, I have to go. I have to go into the rising stones, right? Yeah. Thank you for the head pass. I appreciate it. Let's see. It's in here, right? Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So for for Endwalker, I'm gonna be playing as a Dark Knight. I oh, I don't even have accept accept this level, right? Um, I was thinking about playing as a Reaper originally, but I think. Sorry, baby, I'm putting you over here. I think we're gonna just stick with the Dark Knight. I want to get better with it, um, because now that I'm like actually actively getting like level 70 and level 80, um, like trials and dungeons and stuff, I want to like warm up and I want to practice. Like, I just want, I just want to practice. Dark Knight Pep the Classic, exactly. It's yo canonically she's a Dark Knight, so I have to stay as a Dark Knight, right? Right? Oh, the blonde bun is you. Thank you for the head pass, James. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You think best about the cry at the end of the expansion? I'm betting it. I'm betting it gets to around 65. We actually have a a um a log in the Discord server where people are taking bets on how many times they think I'm gonna cry. Like what the final counter is gonna be. If a mod can bump the form in chat, y'all can go fill it out. I don't think I'm gonna cry. I genuinely don't think I'm gonna cry. I think I'm gonna be fucking fine. Okay, Alfino is feeling the need to take stock. Are we ready? Pepper, do you have some time to talk? I do! After a month, I finally have time! Like, together everyone in Dawn's respite and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. Let us take stock of the facts, shall we? Oh, I forgot my accent. <laughs> the crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. Right! We have since learned that said structures were brought into being by an organization known as Telo Tel Telophoroi. The Telophoroi, yeah. The Telophoroi state stated, the Telophoroi stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past. Right, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already have these towers of theirs been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, the faith perverted for primal summonings. And unless we find a way to deal with the corrupt aura surrounding the, sp the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem able to resist being tempered at least. But after what happened to Arenvold and Fordola, we need to Oh my god! I forgot Arenvold! He's in a wheelchair now! Oh, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. Yet while these threats close to home are a paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Telophoroi are under the leadership of Fandaniel and one other delightful fellow, Zena C. Galvis, the crown prince and our dear friend. I don't know about dear friend, bestie. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varys, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the, wa in the, war, su the war of succession, but that has since changed. 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 And in troubling ways. Aye, during our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. It was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket the ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered, and with nary a word spoken did they labour to, tr to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events, too, were orchestrated by the Telophoroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, developments, I fear it is only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, before our allies are overwhelmed. <gasps> Puppy! We'll find a way in Charlie, and I'm sure of it. Master Fortion- is Fortion- Fortion-o? 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 
Uh, Master Foshino's comments regarding the final days were curious, to say the least. The forum knows more than it is letting on. Sorry to interrupt. We've just received word from Mistress Kryle. She says that arrangements for your visit has been finalized. Oh shit. We're going! You have to head to Limsa Lamensa and board the next ship bound for Charlian. Oh my god, we're going already? Until arrival, present yourselves as associates of the students of Baldessian. Come to assist with the Order's restor restoration. Hell yeah. <gasps> eee! I got a little hair wiggle! <laughs> the arrangements may be settled, but what have your thoughts? They must race at the they must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I'm eager to see it, of course. Of course. <clears throat> we should set off at once. New area, new area, new area! Then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. Thanks, Sataru! <laughs> this music is hype as shit. What the fuck? New quest accepted sound! Amazing. Amazing. Okay, let me like tinker with my audio real quick. Are we sure that this is okay, chat? I'm gonna like play with it a little bit more. Is this okay? Is it too loud? Is it overpowering me? Are we good? Bums, right? Not too quiet, not too loud. It's been good, perfect. Just wanted to make sure that that was settled before we obviously like dive deeper into like cutscenes that are voiced and stuff. Perfect. Good. 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 Ah! I'm excited. I'm excited. I get to see Daddy again. Do I get to watch him be an asshole? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I feel like SpongeBob. Just I'm ready. I'm ready. My loading times in this game, though, nowadays are so hor- like, they're terrible. They're horrendous. It takes me eons to load in anywhere. Okay, I want to make the minimap bigger because I had it smaller for about- oh my god, my game is lagging. I had it small for a little bit, but I want it to be big again now that we're, like, consistently doing MSQ. Just, like, that like that should be good and i don't mind this thing whatever size it is like a bigger. just a little bit like that's good. <gasps> avalon are you are you bidding me farewell you bidding me farewell avalon thank you i appreciate it i appreciate it bestie so I invite us to say hello and have an amazing stream. Good luck being- Thank you, Paris. Take care. I think my lag and load times have been transferred to you. They have been. And I will never forgive you for it. I'm going to just turn this down a little bit. Yeah, my frames. Also, Limps Lament says just always like- <gasps> It's- act Chat, it's Action Star Jones. It's Action Star Jones. Oh my god. He's a dark knight now? There's no shot. The one, the only, the action star Jones! What's up, buddy? Oh my god, is that his wife? Oh my god, and his wife! Hello, wife. Oh my god. I gave you a kiss. Hey, how have you been? Oh, Peppermint! Hello, friends. Unfortunately, I must bid the farewell. But it was nice running into you both. Take care. <laughs> the, ah! You know what? That's exactly what I needed. This is how you start and Walker. You see Action Star Jones, you get blessed, and then you go straight into it. Amazing. Tell him I said hi. Okay, I got you. Um, Sybil says hello. I yelled it. I got you. Hopefully they see that. <laughs> Cut the act to start blessing. God, what's the fucking coffee pasta again? 
sorry, but did Pepper blacklist me? Oh, hello, friends. Oh, goddamn, they got moves. They got moves. They got schmoves. <laughs> Amandaline, do you not want to dance with them? Do you not want to dance with them? Oh, what are you giving me? <gasps> Curry? Thank you. I'm going to give you some hot chocolate. And I, I sent some some cookies uh, with Phoenix to you, but I don't know if, if you've received them yet. Um, but I have a, I have a spare batch. I, I made a ton. I was doing a lot of baking, so I hope you enjoy them. Goodbye, son. One day I will also see you here. But today is not that day. <laughs> I give you one hug, and then I must go. What is Waldo barking at? What is Waldo barking at? Hold on, let me just talk to everybody real quick. Let's see what Mr. Tia has to say. I never thought the day would come when I would be sailing home again. It always seems so very far away. Sea travel can be tedious, but I don't mind it. It's a rare experience for most Scotians. What does Uyong Jay have to say? I shudder to think what manner of truth awaiteth us, await, awaiteth us beyond the Indigo Deep. The Indigo Deep? Is that where we're going? What the fuck is the Indigo Deep? Is that the name of the sea? Still more do I dread the prospect of discussions long overdue. Contrary to what you might think, this will be like going home for me as well. I may, have tra I may have learned how to survive in Limsa Liminsa, but it was Charlie and where I was taught, quite relentlessly I might add, the skills to properly live. Though part of me looks forward to returning home, I have not forgotten that my father stripped us of the privileges of a family name. I hope it doesn't cause trouble with the officials upon our arrival. You should be fine, bestie. You've got me. But a good reason to bring you to Charlie Not much to do to be done about it, I suppose. But I would have liked to give you the grand tour under happier circumstances. That's okay, Alize! We'll find time, bestie! We'll make it work! Okay, baby girl? Anything for you. You can give me your tour. I might have lied in Master Matoya's cave for a good part of my life, but even for me, the thought of returning to Charlian is quite exciting. I can hardly imagine how it is for the others who live most of their lives there. Alright, Tataru, I'm ready. Everyone's here, which is good, because I've already paid for your passage and the fee is non-refundable. The ship for Charlian should be pulling into port soon, so please follow me and have all your luggage close at hand. My luggage? I was supposed to pack? I got cookies on me, is that enough? I got cookies, wilted flowers, and some hot chocolate. And a lot of trauma. I guess that's my baggage. <laughs> Look at the hustle and bustle. The hustle and bustle, babes. God! They've almost he finished loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule. Or so I'm told. Schedule. Schedule, babe. Schedule. Excellent. Tis nice to have a smooth beginning to oh one's God, journey. Oh my God, this cutscene looks so good. The quality fucking skyrocketed. It's funny. <laughs> Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Aye. Tis upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's whims are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? Thankred Core. <laughs> oh, really? Now oh, that's a tale I'd like to hear. Girl, this place is so white. Y'all have y'all have got to dye your hair. I can't see any of y'all. Will this be your first visit to Charlie and Sir Estinian? Oh? Sir Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? I, uh, call me, big bro? merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs. 
especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. Don't kill me. You've made your point, Estinian. Painfully Don't well. Don't kill me. Little Lord, little <laughs> Lordling, little Scooby Dooby. <laughs> oh God, Blue Alize and Red Elf, you know. Oh! oh, is she getting emotional? What's Are you right to talk? Oh my God, Pepper has her cum lips. You seem lips. positively distraught. Get me out of here. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. Oh, is she jealous? It's just... We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. Mm-hmm. And, once again, Aww. I have to stay behind and worry oh. that this is the oh last God. time Look I'll get to see my friends. Lips. The limps of laments and lips. Dude, and Charlian is also a very white place, apparently. I'm gonna have cum lips in every fucking cutscene. I cannot with this! I'll bring them back safe and sound, I promise. No sense worrying about the things we're powerless to change. I'm gonna say the first one. But it sounds misleading. Thank you for the gifted sub, Jay! I feel like we had another gifted sub a second ago. <gasps> Stacy got the sub! Oh, and Paris, thank you for the gifted sub! I appreciate that! Thank you! My wear light has black lipstick and they still look too light sometimes. Really? Mine just has a dark red. It's barely even dark red. But just the lighting, it just makes her look cummy. I'll hold you to that. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Hori Boulder! Hori! Coltine! What brings you all this way? We're to assist the Maelstrom and the Cobbles with a Lunar Primal operation, so we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. No. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. We will too, of course. Aye. We, your fellow scions of the Seventh Dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. Famous last words. Bro, Hori Boulder looks high as fuck. You see his we'll eyes? The sail. All aboard for Shirlian. so red. Yo, you want to share the Zaza, though? It's time. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn aught of value. Wish us luck. Have a safe journey, and please, please be careful. I will try my best, Taru, I promise. All right. Here we go. We're going. I feel like I should not be wearing armor. I think once we land, the second I get the chance to, I'm changing. Oh my god, Pepper! And so you venture forth unto the unknown. Ah! Why are you in my ear? A fate beyond what? the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain <laughs> times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. <laughs> that which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. <laughs> no, we just started! What do you mean? What do you mean? It just started! How am I at? How am I in the depths where souls and stars rest, <laughs> find your truth. <laughs> Emmett, 
I didn't get to hear a single fucking thing you said. I was busy crying. <laughs> change this cry counter while I have time, huh? Holy fuck, there's no way! There's no way! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm excited! I'm so excited! When we land and I get the chance to, Pepper is getting out of that armor. I'm oh. Day has barely dawned, my fellow earlier riser. <sighs> Though we're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. <laughs> Called out to you, you say? Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. Ah. Girl, that could not have been comfortable. Dude, why does Graha have, like, permanent bedroom eyes? Oh, that blue glow? that that's the girl from the from the end of 5.55 no who's this is that Heidelin? my voice yet reaches you i am glad her hair is so pretty hear feel think. mother mother and thus do we meet face to face at last. My warrior of light, Mommy? guided by the crystal. Mommy? Pepper, you look so unenthusiastic. Pepper, where is your enthusiasm? Where is your excitement? That's mother! That is mother! She's just like... Girl! Um, wait, chat, don't mind me. Hold on. It's pretty. <laughs> um. Um. Hello? Controller? Oh, text advanced speed. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. No, I don't want to skip the cutscene! Um. Why? I, I can trust your words no longer. Ooh. 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 Okay. T. 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 Okay, yeah, because you're a prime. Wait. You're supposed to be a primal. You just look like a human. A here. Um. Um. No, I'm not gonna go too sassy. No, I I am gonna go sassy because I am fucking Confucian. Okay. You have visited the first. You. Have every right to say that. 
You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Eidolon has always been. A primal. Uh-huh. Me too, Pepper. I'm Zodiac confused. was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened <clears throat> the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Damn, she got a long ass will neck. decide the fate of this world. God and damn. All life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable. Mounting. Then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Cast your peepers to the fore, folks. My peepers! Charlians, just over yonder. Come on, Pepper, cast those peepers. I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. We shall meet again, and soon. Soon? Bye. Oh, what a fine morning. Oh, oh still a bit stiff, though. <laughs> and a good morning to you, too. Taking a look at the island already? Then let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. I love how everyone except for Graha and I have white ah, hair. Ah, the sleepers have arisen. <sighs> there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the mountains. Estinian's too Home. cool to look. Home at last. Well, maybe not in father's eyes, but we'll manage on our own, if we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Indeed, tis as Sir Estinian saith. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side, I prithee. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident 
that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. I don't know. They're a little too confident. This kind of has like epilogue energy, you know? Oh my god, is this it? Is this the title moment? Moon! I'm gonna be on that! Ah! Ah! Alright, stream's over. We did it! <laughs> and Walker, let's go. Thank you for the nine months, man! Charlian, the solitary island nation of the Northern Seas. Where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. Why do you Once, say it like that, they deign to accept foreign Let's students go. into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. He fucking giggled, bro. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. Isn't this where Ponto always has his, like, sexy dancers? I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. Hasn't Charlie and Orbit severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. You're with me though, don't worry. It is true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. Hmm, interesting. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. May. Hmm. Quite. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Kral okay. has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Baldessian, and our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. Grahatia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? That was quicker Greetings. than I anticipated. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. I am. Grahat here of the students of Baldassian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorsian survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My associates here will provide additional support. Oh. Very good. Oh. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. Why does everyone say schedule? And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. 
If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. Oh, they get in priority, huh? Ishtola rule. I don't get to hear them say their names? Nah. Okay. See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with a citizen registry kept in the main repository. Okay. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Thank you. Now, what about me, though? who do we have here? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh, the babies. Alphano Leveilleur. And Alizé Leveilleur. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that... The streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young progeny. And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. You just got a fucking mini scolding, bro. We just got here. Chill. We shall keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. No drama here. Don't worry. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. Oh, An application was made in advance. Don't look at me like that! Hmm. Name and occupation? Uh... Peppermint. Adventurer by trade. Peppermint. Artisan. Peppermint. Champion of Eorzea! I should keep a low profile, right? Like, I shouldn't say I'm the champion of Eorzea, right? I feel like I should just say... Adventurer by trade? Nah, I'm fucking doing it. I got an ego. <laughs> And it is a title well earned, I can assure you. <laughs> An adventure by trade is what your documentation indicates. No mention of this particular title. Self-appointed, I take it. Either way, your employer seems willing to vouch for your character, so I shall, albeit reluctantly, grant you entry. Champion. And you, sir? <laughs> Estinian Valino, formerly Valino. of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Formerly, at least. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? Broody sidekick. Babysitter. Uh, silence beholder. If you'll allow me. Anything, Estidian, please. You good, girl? My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. Mm-hmm. He's a bodyguard. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. Karen, fucking relax. She got the Karen hair, she got the Karen I eye makeup, chill. I have confidence chill. in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. We're an eclectic group. <laughs> Quick. 
Croyle, it is good to see you. Likewise, long voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Oh! <laughs> Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Thank you! As oh God, your mercenary, I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. Well, I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. Chat, I hate to break it to you, but Astinian may die. I hate to break it to you. But he may die. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but Pepper's kiss of death is nearing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't. I may have to simp. I may have to simp. Hello, friendos. Hello, stinky butts. The sniper is on standby. Estinian, I'm sorry, but you're making me simp, and I don't appreciate it. I am unaccustomed to fabricating lies on demand. Why should it matter how I earn my living? Do you even, do you earn a living, honey? Do you have a job? Where do you even live? I, like, do you live in the broom? I've seen Ishgard, bro. Here we are at last, the great city of Charlian. You may have noticed some similarities to the Crystallium, yes? In fact, I... Oh, but we really should let Kraus have a say first. We can continue this conversation at another time. Wait, similarities to... To the to the Crystallium? I don't... I don't see any similarities yet? Should I be? What is going on? What is happening here? What is... <laughs> Do we have a coven meeting going on that I was not present for? Wait, what did she say? That was about as awkward as, as, as expected. So we're here now, and that's all that matters. I'm fine, honestly. Better to be waved through with a stern warning than be denied entry after all. Allow me to extend unto thee my warmest welcome, Pepper. May the wisdom of my homeland aid us in our endeavors. Even allowing that the years I spent in the first Passed here in the blink of an eye. The city feels untouched by time. You're doubtless eager to take in the sights. Not to worry, Pepper. The city is not like to vanish before we finish our discussion. Mmm, I don't like that foreshadowing. Nah, Charlene's gonna be fine. I just got here. There's no way. Allow me to extend unto thee my warmest welcome, Pepper. May the wisdom of my homeland aid us in our endeavors. All right, what's going on here, besties? What's going on here? You know, I expected to see a dead body. I half expected there to be a dead body, but... But that's... You know what? No, just, just a pit. Just a pit. I know, I'm also disappointed. <laughs> Enjoy your raid, Nissan. Bye, Bean. Thank you for doing some, some modding. Thank you for hanging, Bean. I'll see you later. I think there's actually a Lollafell in there. Oh my god, Vosk! Hi, Vosk! Wait, is there a Lollafell? Oh my god! Oh my god, there is! Oh no! Oh no! The fucking coven's eating good tonight. We got some baked potato, baby! Sacrificing the little dude! This poor little guy! I think I saw someone in chat asking me earlier during the cutscene with Heidelin if I recognize the voice actor. I don't think I do. For a for a moment, she kind of reminded me of um. She reminded me of Morrigan a bit, but like I I recognize the voice, kind of. Like I feel like I've heard it in DA, but Aveline. From DA2? That was DA2, right? Am I right? Oh, 
shit! Oh shit! There's a there are a ton of of uh, DA VOAs in this fucking game, huh? Oh my god! I I need y'all to know that I have been like sweating profusely, like during that entire like all those like cutscenes. I was just sitting here like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Were you gonna change outfits? I am. I am. I am. I am. I did not expect Emmett to be the voiceover for this expansion. I was under the assumption that it would be like Alfino or Alize. I, I don't know what I expected. I just didn't, I just didn't think it would be him. That caught me off guard and earned a fucking cry. I know, I know, I really thought I wasn't gonna cry. I cried twice. I cried twice already. We just fucking got here and I'm, he was a narrator in the trailer. Is that how that works? Whoever does voiceovers for the trailer is also the voiceover for the X-Pack? Cried the first cutscene? I'm so pathetic. But it's not gonna get higher than 60, okay? Okay? Not always, usually? Interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I don't have a I don't have a Charlian fit. Um Do you think Pepper can just wear her all white fit? Is that scholarly enough? Does she look important? I my sage fits kind of kind of bangs. Um, I have this one. Do you want a cult robe? Honestly, I I should. I have one in my in my glam dresser. I just don't have a VO. I think Emin is the only carryover. I forget who did the VO for Shadowbringers in game. Uh, Grahatia. I think it was Graha. It was either Graha or Ardbert. I think it was Ardbert. Ardbert or Graha. I don't remember which one. I just remember freaking out the whole time. Ardbert. Okay, yeah, so it was Ardbert. I was Ardbert. But the trailer. Oh, but the trailer was the Axarch. Okay. Mmm. I remember when I first heard Graha Tia's voice, I started fucking freaking out because I, girl, I know, if, look, there's one voice that I know and it's, and it's fucking Anthony Bridgerton, okay? Miss, Mr. Bridgerton! <laughs> the second I heard his voice, I was like, nah! <laughs> Yeah, fucking Jonathan Bailey, his voice is like so... Then yeah, Endwalker is the only duplicate on Stormblood, Heavensworn, a Realm of Born, don't have narrators, though there is a Realm of Born one with Louis Swa. Was there? Like, in a, like a Realm of Born trailer with Louis Swa's uh, voiceover? Mr. I'm a Gentleman? That man is a whore. Anthony Bridgerton is a whore and I love him for it. And I fucking adore him for it. Okay, besties. Okay, besties. Miss Pep has gotta has gotta go do some exploring. I hope I hope the Lollafell brings us uh, good tidings and all that fun stuff. Okay, where do I go? Let me see. Is it gonna work? Oh my god, it works! Okay, I think I may have fixed our little dilemma, by the way, with the OBS lag. I can play the game, but have OBS clicked open and not. And I think, I think that's gonna fix the problem. We should be good. Let me know if you see uh, the chat lagging, okay? All right. All right. Who's here? <gasps> You're home! You made it home! He's home! Wait, where the fuck is Red? Hello? Is, or has he just been idling here? No, cause he doesn't have the fucking, the idle chair. I've been here, bro. He's been in chat. How did I not see? How did I not see? Hi, Esli. Hello. How many times have you listened to the Jonathan Bailey good night message? The the Jonathan Bailey good night message? What? What Jonathan Bailey good night message? Oh. I have places to go. I have people to see. Can I attune? Can I attune? <gasps> I'm attuning. I am attuning. Scholar's Harbor. Okay, let's go speak with Kryl now. 
<laughs> attune? <laughs> we are attuning? We are attuning to the pussy? I'm glad I spotted your ship coming into the port. The officers are born bureaucrats and sticklers for detail. In any case, you may relax and take a moment to gather your, your land legs back. Oh. The drama! All right, horse, chestnut, weapon, coffer. Horse, chestnut? Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, that's so fucking pretty! Wait, who's that? They're running away. Where are they going? They have a robe on! Our cult is leaving! Well, well, so be it. Old Charlie, and new to you. Kryle sweeps the scions with a speculative look. They're gonna give me gear. They're gonna be giving me gear. I had thought to launch directly into an explanation of what I've learned and how we might proceed. But this is Pepper and Estinian's first time in Charlian, and for the rest of for the rest of you, a homecoming that was long overdue. You must have places you wish to visit and people you're dying to see. Therefore, I propose we postpone our agenda so that you all may have a sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings in the city. Once you've settled in, we can reconvene at the Baldessian Annex. How does that sound? Tis a fine suggestion. We may not be welcome at the Levieux estate as such, but I should like to nose around the neighborhood all the same. Are you gonna join? I am equally untethered, as it were. There is no particular place that my kin call home. Still, I will not pass up the opportunity to reacquaint myself with the city. Likewise, a quick tour of old haunts might old haunts might even yield some useful gossip. The annex was worth the Etherite Plaza, wasn't it? I shall join you there anon. Yes, we'll see you there. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to yell. <laughs> what does Rionche want to do? I too have places I would be miss in not visiting forthwith. By thy leave. And then there is us. What of you, Estinian? My services as a guide are yours for the asking. That won't be necessary. Until we reconvene, I've read to wander as the wind takes me. Oh. But, but I could. Oh. Bye! <laughs> well, Raha, would you like to join us then? You've been gone for quite a while, and this would be the perfect way to refresh those dusty old memories of yours. Of, of course! If you will have me. Come, Pepper. Charlie and awaits. It's so triumphant. This, like, quest acceptance, like, sound cue. After you, my friend. I am more than content to follow you lead. <gasps> Graha is now accompanying you. Kima decided to only proceed with Chris' objectives. In the event you see the, ether the Ethernet, Grahatia will catch up to you so long as you remain in the same area. You can leave Grahatia behind now, however, by entering a different area. You may also speak to him and select the option to part ways. If you wish to have Grahatia accompany you again, return and speak with him at the original location. While Grahatia is accompanying you, next try speaking with Kryle. I have a bay! I got a little boy with me! Look at him! You all can't see him, but there's a boy running am amok with me! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! I ha look, I have my boys! I have Graha and Wishifa running with me! Look! Look! Look at me! So this is where we came from. Let's see. Uh, speak with Kral while accompanied by Grahatia. Oh, okay. So, like, I can't literally just, like, run everywhere. Okay. No, oh, I didn't mean to speak with you. No, talk. What if we can talk? Do not forget Miss Kryle, a worthy guide. No, I not forget her. Sorry. All set? Then let us be on our way. Our first stop, amusingly enough, will be the last stand. It's a cafe on the west side of the harbor. 
Kryle is also now accompanying you. Lead your two companions to the last stand and speak with Kryle at the designated location. You're interrupting our date, Kryle. While you're accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. I will! My date is kind of getting ruined, but that's fine. Okay, there's a conversation point over here. Let's go, bestie. Alrighty. Discuss the storage facility. With all the unusual wares coming in and going at all hours, or coming and going at all hours, I expect the assistance of an intrepid adventurer would be highly appreciated. I see no reason why you couldn't undertake any tasks which pique your interest. You have been cleared by the immigration offici officials, after all. I look forward to the day your name is celebrated in a Charlian way, the same way it is in Eorzea. Or in Charlian, the same way it is in Eorzea. This place is called the Peristyle. The Peristyle. And it is the first stop for, embar for cargo unloaded at the docks. You'll find the, the usual necessities for daily living with other imports vital to running an island nation, but also supplies a further Charlian's pursuit of knowledge, namely large quantities of books, specimens, and samples. Sorting these stacks certainly seems to keep the attendants busy. Alrighty. Okay. Kryle's the chaperone. <laughs> Kryle's there to make sure you aren't getting turned into an acclaim. Into what's an acclaim? What's an acclaim? I don't know what that is. He was broken at launch and kept getting stuck 10 feet in the air. Oh, silly little boy. Silly baby. All right, let's go over here now. This is the next combo point. All righty. Oh, into an eclipse. Girl, are you from Boston? So I'm about to make you cream. I want a Boston cream donut now. And honestly, I would not be turning- he wouldn't- like, he would not be turning me into an eclair, I would be turning him into an eclair. There is no way- are you coming here to smack me? You're gonna smack me, aren't you? For being down bad? Yeah. <laughs> Look, but like, hear me out. Graha is the one that's getting filled up, not me. He is not cream pieing me, I'm- I'm- I'm stuffing that boy, okay? Okay. They have toys for that now. Now that is a sight one could hardly forget. The great statue of Thaliac. As a student of Baldessian, I was usually quartered on the Isle of Val, but I would gaze upon the scholar's wise features every time I returned to ship to the city. I can't really see their face, but I can see their ass though. This path leading out towards the sea is known as the Thaliac Stow. Stow? 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 So named for the statue of the scholar which stands at its end. As you know, the Charlian people prize the accumulation of wisdom above all else. Thus when Thaliac... Th Thaliac? Thaliac? Was I don't remember how it was pronounced. It was chosen as a patron deity. It was more of a pattern of pragmatism than belief. An alignment of principles, as it were. You may have honoured him with a rather impressive sculpture, yes. But our faith is not so restrictive as that of say, the Ashgardians. Individual Charlians can, and do, worship the divinities of their choosing. Okay. Is this where we have to go? Head to the last stand. Is this the last stand? Is this it? Oh, oh, I think it is! And here we are, the last stand. I may have mentioned this before, but although our research into nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive, the average Charlian tends to regard seasoning and flavor with a certain indifference. Yeah, like the fucking bread Tataru made. A nasty fucking bread. How can I put this? The food is, um, it's bland. As encapsulated by our infamous Ark and Loaf, the prevailing sentiment towards cuisine is dietary value first and taste a distance second. There was one pupil of the studio, however, who could stomach the school's in insipid meals no longer, so he quit his lessons and poured all his savings into building a proper eatery. And so the last stand came to be. It is, as the name implies, the sole dedicated outpost of the fine dining in Charlian. The one and only bastion of the culinary arts is in an isle of otherwise mediocre fare. I seem to recall the burger being- <laughs> Oh, 
Is that why? Is th Wait. I seem to recall the burger being hailed as one of the most impressive items on the menu. Not that I ever had the pleasure of eating one myself. Is that why? Is that why? Oh my. Are he Is he got a burger? Because you were a typical Shaolian when it came to cheap and convenient, Raha. But surely Tataru has since taught you how to appreciate a well prepared dish. We should all stop in when time permits and sample the cafe's delights. Oh my god, I want to see him eat a burger. Shall we press on? The sister's side of the cafe, though, will take us up to the Etherite Plaza. I want to. Hello? What's up? <gasps> I get burger! I get the Arkham burger! Here, I'll give you some hot chocolate. I give you, I give you some hot chocolate, and you know what? I will, I will also give you, I'll give you, I'll give you some flowers, cause you look, you look ravishing, and I hope you have a great day. Delivery for peppermint. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye. All right, so where am I going now? Head to the Etherite right Plaza. Okay, why am I still speaking in this accent? Do I go this way? No. Oh, it's so fucking cute. Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> Amico. This is so cute. <gasps> okay, I'm sorry, Hill Hill Doys, Hill Hill Doy, Hill Doys, Hill Doisy. I look better. I'm rocking the shirt a little bit better than you, right? Right? Mhm. Mm okay. Where am I going? Where am I going? This is the harbor. Is there another ether? Okay, there's, so there's an ether right west of the plaza. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, it's so fucking pretty here! Hold on, before I do this, let me get the mini one. Where is the mini one? Is it over here? This way? This way. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, oh. I see someone in there. I see someone in the walls. Who's in my walls? What to do it in my walls? All right, let's go get the big one now. We'll go this way. Thanks for calling my bun ravishing. I love playing her. She's very cute. She's very, very, very cute. And come back to me. You can give me a little ad. I'll put you on my friends list. Unusual shape, isn't it? I assure you, however, that it's perfectly functioning. It's a perfectly functioning etherite. Remember to attune yourself before we move on. Now, being the diligent tour guide I am, that I am, I should make mention of the confluence. A research facility located on this very plaza. It's much vaunted discoveries are the reason Charlene stands at the forefront of teleportation technology. In deciphering the underlying principles of elegant etherites, it allowed us to understand and reconstruct what was essentially a lost art. Art. <laughs> and off we go to our next destination. Path leads northeast to the Agora, Charlene's largest marketplace. Oh my god, are they like gonna follow me the whole time? Nah, this is so fucking cute. This is so cute. I'm out of room, but I can check to see if there's any un unable to retrieve. Don't worry about it. If you're stuffed, don't worry. Speaking of etherites, so self petition fees do add up after a while, which is why I tended to rely on the far cheaper ferry services. I was surprised when Mr. Taru informed me that the Scions are reimbursed for transportation costs as part of our duties. We are? What about me? I'm the warrior of light and I still have to pay an arm and a fucking leg. This is not fair. This is not fucking fair. Um, but I find old habits hard to break. That and I'd rather not be bothered filling out the necessary paperwork. Bro, where's my fucking discount? That's the interest of confluence. I have no doubt that expertise will prove useful at some point, so just you remember the way here. I shall. Okay, so now we gotta go this way. <gasps> Hello. Hello, dissatisfied. Hello, Apple. Oi, get in here. Oh, stop. Do you mind if I press the shelves for a moment? There might be some hidden gems I've yet to read. Only a moment. How optimistic. Feel free to browse all you like, but we won't wait around for you. Oh, puppy. Oh, perhaps I'll return here later then. Oh no! You disappointed him! These little open air bookstores are so uniquely Charlian. I've always thought them a common sight until I visited other nations. 
Okay, where are we going now? We're going... Oh, who's that? Oh, Anna! Okay, we're going this way. Welcome to the Agora, where you can find wares made in Shalian, as well as a wide selection of imported goods. They also used to sell questionable prototypes from the various research institutes, that I th but I think that practice has thankfully died out, for the most part. Otherwise, I can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Am I overselling it? <clears throat> Terrible joke. On a more serious note, the next stop on our tour is one of which has particular relevance to our ultimate purpose here. We must head back to the Etherite Plaza, follow the path north, then climb the stairs up to that imposing building at the very top. Okay. Can I take a detour and just go this way? I think I can. The map makes it look like I can. Is it this building? I can only presume it's this building. Yeah, it is. This place is so pretty. Honestly, I'm getting Animal Crossing vibes like from this music. I like it. Yo, what's up, Todd? Uh, yeah, we made it. Oh. We finally made it. We're in Endwalker. It's happening. These little decorative features are typical of Shalian architecture. Aside from the research wing, our headquarters on the Isle of Val were rather simple and rustic by comparison. This is the Nymphaeum, an area dedicated to the blessings of water. For, Shalian, water, for Shalians, water represents more than a life-sustaining liquid. It is a reminder of the great flood which uh, precipitated the birth of our nation, as well as a symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thaliac's divine ewer. This is the reason you see an abundance of fountains throughout the city, and a propensity for utilizing water as a decorative feature in our architecture. Love that. Okay. Um. Uh. Do I do I just go up? Do I go round around? Okay, I do. I do. I go round around, round around, round around, round. You know what? I have to change. I have to change something. Hold on, chat. <laughs> this needs to be a different color because like I for the life of me cannot tell the difference let's see I will do that make it purple oh that's so much clearer there we go amazing Construction before you is the rostra. The rostra? What is the rostra? It's like a fucking temple. The name refers to the original public platform erected here, upon which a forum of elected representatives would deliver orations and debate policy. Oh. That's not as interesting. While the stage has since evolved into a council chambers, the nature of the forum and the duties of its members remain largely unchanged. Am I pulling you, Raha? You seem awfully distracted. My apologies. From here, one can see the entire city spread out below. Oh, it is very... It, it's so fucking pretty. How am I supposed to get anything done? This is like... Charlian is giving me the same, like, whiplash that Ishgard gave me. Where I couldn't focus on anything but the, like, architecture and the, like, atmosphere. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. How do people get anything done? The vista put me in mind of my arrival in the first. Those who had gathered at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. Naturally, my answers were all inspired by knowledge of the finest element I could think of. The great city of Shalian. And bit by bit, the two buildings grew into a town. A community. It's a Crystarium. I can almost see its echo. I see. Feel free to come up here whenever you wish. I don't think the counselors would object to you simply enjoying the view. Such memories should be treasured. For now, however, the two must go on. M more? There's more? Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with the fitly, fitly, fittingly named Journey's End. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. Okay, am I going east? Is this east? Oh, there's an etherite somewhere over here. Let me get it. Let me attune. Look at the sky. Look at the sunset. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck a nut. I'm gonna fucking bust a nut. Okay. Can I go in? Oh, I 
can. Oh, what's in here? What's in here? Oh, 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 oh. This kind of... I don't think it is. It's not. But... Or is it? Is it? Is this... No. It... I can't tell. Oh, it is! Because... Because it, it's going in a spiral. This is the from the trailer where Ishtola was talking to Daddy. Right? Right? I think so. I guess we'll fucking find out. But it looks just like it. No, it absolutely is. It's all spirally. Oh, it's so cool. That is so pretty. Oh, wait, how do I... Oh! I can jump. Wait, did y'all jump or did you just like... Wait, how did you get up here? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> okay, so we have to go all the way this way. The shimmering floors. Wait, are they shimmering? <gasps> it's very like crystally. It's like marbly crystally. Oh my god, I just got fucking blinded! How is it brighter outside? It's 9 no, it's 916 my time. What time is it? <gasps> it's 5:43 a.m. Oh, it's sunrise! Oh! I was like, what the fuck? That's not how time works. Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. Okay, I've made an error. Am I going the right way? Fuck. I hope, okay, we're fine. We're chilling. We're good. <laughs> we're good, we're good. All right, here is the last destination. We arrived at Journey's End. History tells us that this was where those who put ashore the Archon Nyonkrep built their first homes. In the present day, it serves as a residential district for the most important officials and the oldest Charlian families. You see that one mansion is clearly larger than its neighbors. That essay belongs to our friends from House Levia. All things considered, we should probably keep our distance for the time being. They don't want to see us either? I can't go see Daddy? I could be his mistress. I don't know if his wifey is still available, if she's like alive, but like, if she is, I could be a mistress. I can maybe make him smile again. Win him over. I don't know. And then maybe he won't be so mad and cranky. And with that, we bring a little Charlie into it to a close. I hope it has proven to be an entertaining and enlightening experience. Now, shall we head directly to the Baldessian Annex? You remember the way, don't you, Raha? Let me think. We are down towards the harbor across the bridge to our right and follow the path below the Etherite Plaza. Correct. After you, Peppa. After me? <laughs> Bitch, I just got here. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. All right. Oh, sun. Okay, let me attune. Oh, <gasps> Bitch, are you fucking, are you kidding me? Are you, oh. Are you fucking, <gasps> are you fucking my ass? Are you shitting my ass right now? Oh my god! Nah. This is so fucking pretty. Oh my god. This is so pretty. What the fuck? Bro! This game has no right being so pretty. I remember when I first like started playing, like during one of my earlier streams, someone came in and they were like, um, they were like, oh, is this game still the way it was before? Ugly and gray and dull? LOL, this game isn't bright, it's so ugly. And I was like, yeah, baby, I'm in Ishgard, of course it looks like that. You know, like go to Gridania. Go to the Crystarium. This game is so fucking pretty. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? Are you kidding me? How can you look at this view and call it ugly? G pose with Graha? I should, shouldn't I? Um. Well, I'll do a little one. I'll do a. I'll do a little one up up to up somewhere here. Let's see. I liked where we were a second ago. 
<gasps> Hi, Gain. Hello. Hope you're enjoying Animal Crossing, my favorite expansion. Hello, Kevin. I am so far. We did just start. I haven't really done anything. I think I'm on like the second quest. But so far, so good. There. Let me get up back here. <gasps> no, no, the sky's changing. No, the sky's changing. No, no. Gotta be fast, gotta be fast. No, why'd you fucking turn around, you dumb bitch? Don't turn? Okay, that'll do. Why are you petting your ass? Don't stop petting your ass. Stop it. 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 What is something what is something that she can do that's like easy? Just clap. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Sure. No, that looks dumb. That looks dumb. Let's see. What's cute? What's cute? What's cute? D the wow, though? I could just have her just stand normally, I guess. Let's see. Mm. There, that'll do. That'll do. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe something like that? that same I don't think I can I'm not gonna be able to where is the grass where'd that grass go where'd that aesthetically pleasing grass go oh, I can only get in in on the, at this angle fuck okay I got my photo though we're chilling we're good all right let's go <laughs> Kyle making sure you leave room for Jesus she's like yeah y'all don't do any tomfoolery not in public please both of you simps, keep it down. <laughs> I lost my sprout starting in Shatterbringers. Or wait, what did you say? Stormblood or Shatterbringers? So I lost my sprout, I think, the second I ended Shadowbringers. No, the second I got to 6.0. And I have 2,000 in-game hours. It took a long fucking time for me. Okay, chat, I have to pee. So I'm gonna disappear for just a moment so I could do a little pee pee, okay? I will be right back. I'm gonna pee pee, I'm gonna poo poo, and whatever else I need to do. Now it's fucking cloudy? Well, we take cloudy days. We love a good cloudy day. All right, I'll be right back.
You know how they say not every pee pee time is a poo poo time, but every poo poo time is a pee pee time? I have a confession. Sometimes. Sometimes. The pee pee times do end up becoming poo poo times. Sometimes we do be pooping. Sometimes you do be pooping. Hey, yo, Jin, you wanna party up? You wanna party up with me? I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna have any duties or anything, but you wanna party up in a bit? And just run around together? <laughs> Why are you fucking, fine! All right, you know what? Nah, I asked, I was being, I was being kind, I was being nice, I was gonna invite you on this little journey with me, and I guess you, oh, okay. Well, can I invite you even though I'm in like this like instance thing? <gasps> Let's run! Clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 clap. Shannon is full of educational and research institutions. Oh, yeah, hello, I'm back. We're jumping right back into this. I am not doing any waiting. Mm -mm. Uh, Shannon is full of educational and research institutions, but they are still professors who prefer to establish their own private practices. Not that I ever attended the exclusive schools they run in these residences. Perhaps the twins could tell you more about them. Right, we cross this bridge here, as I recall. Stick to the path and be careful not to end up back in the Etherite Plaza. Sounds good. Where's Red? Where's Red? Where's my other catboy? You wanna come run around with me? Where's my husband? Where's my husband? Wait, where the fuck am I going? Where am I going? Uh, oh, I see. I see. Gotta go this way. Gotta go this way. I just got here and you're screaming already. Is Enmark ah! Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Oh, it's you! Oh my god, I looked away. You scared me, bro. But yeah, uh, I mean, we did just start Enwalker. I look, I've already cried twice. I'm not. I'm doomed. I'm fucking doomed. Did you got me hooked on this game? You're welcome, Alec. How's your how's your playthrough going? You've been called, you have been. Where's my other catboy? There's an ether right right here. Come come. Come come. Where are my kitty people? Uh, okay, so someone was in here. What is this place? What the Baldessian Annex? Is this the next place I'm gonna have to be? Is that why you're waiting for me? I think this is where we're gonna have to go next. This is where I have to go next. I'm good, Epic Playa, how are you? Spoiling yourself? Look, look, then maybe they shouldn't have left the door open. <gasps> Hi, Dinky! Hey! What the heck? What the heck? Are he gone? And he's leaving me? That's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. Nah, I don't want your kisses. Nah, you're mean. You hit me. <laughs> As the joyous look on Raha's face is undoubtedly informed, she this is the Baldessian Annex. If you continue up the hill, you'll arrive on the doorstep of Phenomenon. But I think we're ex we've explored enough for one day. We could take you there another time. Inside with you, then. Cool scene. I'm back, and I brought Peppa and Raha with me. Ah, oh, you were right about the ship then. Hello, Graha. It's nice to see you again. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Peppa. I've heard many a tale of your exploits. Of mine? Ojika? Ojika Sun Sunjika? It has been an age. Allow me to introduce Ojika Sunjika, administration officer for the students of Baldessian. He oversees, oversees the day-to-day -day business of the Annex. You may recall meeting his cousin, Ejika? Do I recall meeting his cousin, Ejika? Oh yes, Eureka. I've read the initial reports. Quite a shock to hear what's become of the Isle. Do take care if you have the opportunity to rejoin the expedition. I got something in my teeth. 
This place is like a second home for students. The Isle of Val served as our main headquarters, of course. But we often had occasion to visit Charlien. Whether to make use of the city's research facilities, attend conferences, or procure supplies from distant shores. And the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engage in such activities. Ever since our former headquarters, along with the isle itself, vanished, the annex has served as our base of operations. And yet it feels so empty. With so many lost to us, our organization is a shell of its former self. The day will come when we will see the students rise again. But first, we must ensure that the Tlofroi fail. Through that door on the left there is the main hall where we can discuss our options moving forward. This one? Once everyone arrives, that is. We probably have time to rest before our discussions begin in earnest. Trying to rest there. I've had private quarters prepared for you in the, in the Andron, so please, feel free to make yourself at home. Ah, the nap rooms. Perfect for an afternoon doze. Nap rooms! The nap rooms! That's where I'll be staying. That's where I will live. Oh, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed. Far more so than some cheap roadside inn, you may be assured. It was simply that we were, we were often so busy with research or exhausted from journeys abroad that we would slip into the Andron just to seal a few winks. And thus they became known amongst the students as nap rooms, even if many such naps might last well into the following morning. Can you do other things in the nap room? <laughs> Say the word and I'll be happy to show you to your chamber. Hopefully those won't be too long in coming. I'll wait for you all in the main hall. I get to take a nap now. I love a game that forces me to sleep. Wish life forced me to sleep, but instead I just put myself to bed and cry. I crawl into bed and I don't fall asleep because I'm just too wide awake. But then eventually I do fall asleep and then I can't fucking get out of bed. And I can't fucking get up. Do you, have you have papers, papa. Do you have papers pasted on the walls of your room? So it's not unusual for occupants to pin up notes or documents and such, and then forget to take them when they went on the merry way. Sometimes it's quite deliberate, though. You might see complaints addressed to other members, or a thank you card for the engrossing literature someone left behind. Uh huh. For the literature. Mm. Love traditions that I should know better than to dwell upon. If we had to create a future for the future for the students, to create a future for the students of Baldassian and so many others, we must look to the days ahead. Put me to bed. Welcome back, Papa. Ready for a nap? Yeah! Clean sheets and warm blankets await. Rest as long as you like. <gasps> I wanna see my room! <gasps> oh, it's so cute! Oh, this is really cute! It kind of reminds me of the Crystarium. I now see what he means. Look at, look at all this. I can tinker with so much of this. Look at the little, look at the little stones. Look at all the bookies. Look at the mo is that a Moogle toy? So many crystals. That's so cute. <gasps> a ladder that I cannot use. A ladder that leads to nowhere. Amazing. My fave. <laughs> so fucking cute. Hello, Grits. May Pepper's milk magic have only the most laminar flow of flow this fine evening. Thank you. Thank you for the blessings. I appreciate it. Okay. Speak with Crowl in the main hall. Alright, let's go speak with Crowl. As so we go in here. Oh, I'm excited. God, this place is so pretty. It's so cute. Look at the maps. Why do you have a map here when you have this one here? Why do you need... Oh, it's split up. So you have one half on that side and the other half on this side. Interesting. What is this? Is that King Moogle Mog? That's amazing. I want that. Zany Boy, thank you for the 17 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back to the company with your badge months and your stay. Stuff like games. Thank you for the 15 month resub as well. Don't worry about the house being empty. I'll make sure there's always plenty of company. Larry? Larry, what are you getting at? 
Feeling refreshed and alert? Our colleagues should be wandering in soon, so I suggest we stay here and wait for them to join us. I can always rely on Astidian to be brooding in a corner somewhere. Pray forgive me. I was delayed. It's fine, Orianger. We're all here now. Let's get down to business then, shall we? Come what may, we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian, not to mention the recent inscrutable behaviour of the Forum. As most of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy, the Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlian focus on recording history while remaining entirely uninvolved in the making of it. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather Gallif was one such member, as was Archon Louisois. So y'all are all... Nepo babies, huh? Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other, more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. Fortuno's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, he had simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? A mystery indeed, and one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas, namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. The request in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nidana, an alchemist residing in distant Thavnair. Her missive describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar prime. Oh, is this, um... Wait, what? In response to this threat, the that's, satrap of Rads at Han, the individual the, who governs the city-state, okay. has instructed the out, alchemists but... to find a means to deal with the spire. The artisans of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition, one rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. It is possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Equal, I think, to the Thavnarian one, given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, 
Our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also like to steal the services of an Archon or two. And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. I will help with that. Allow me to offer my assistance. I have some small amount of experience in the field of research. Alizé and I would also like to help, if you would have us. Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the Forum might be thinking. Of course, the more the merrier. Right. The rest of us will make the journey to Thavna. With Broody McBruders then? Thoughts? Objections? I passed through Thavnir on my way to infiltrate the Empire, and though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriange. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. Just three handsome dudes being dudes on the road. The boys are back in town! <laughs> Damn, okay, so we have two quests here to pick up. Okay. Let's see. So I got some gear now. Where is it? Which one is it? Where is it? Where is it? Fuck it, let me just do it here. It's the gadget skin. Okay, so I did run over it. Oh! It's hideous. You know what? It's hideous, but thank you. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna talk to Thancred first. Woo! It's so colorful! Thancred is eager to set a forth for Thavner. Okay, let me- I'm gonna speak to everybody. Our tour of the city was a pleasant distraction. I feel more than ready now to take- to- to tackle the challenges of the day. I don't understand how the vote could be unanimous. What could possibly convince them all to turn their backs on Eorzea? The forum is intent on concealing its intentions, and a cursory investigation with little, will avail us little, I suspect. We'll need to dig deeper, and with the greatest of care. Oh, I don't mean to speak to you. Hold on. The process by which forum members are elected is fair and equitable. Equitable. Neither wealth nor, s nor social standings offer any advan advantages to a prospective candidate. If fairly elected or not, Master Matoria still found them all to be insufferable. Alright, let's talk to the boys. So it's back to Thavne. Had I known earlier, I would have considered more suitable attire. Oh? Should I change? Though I have read much on the subject of uh, Rods at Han, this visit shall be my first. It'll be interesting to see how the, Han the Hanish mean to contend with the tower, different as their magical and te technical technological disciplines are. All right, let's go. I'm getting I'm I'm getting Lassie. Oh fuck yeah! Hell yeah, I love Lassie. Let's go, Daisy Kings. I have Kryle's instructions in hand. If you're ready to set out, then so are we. Have you been to Thavna before? I can travel by Etherite. But what are the rest of you? And the sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Crow is of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the confluence. We'll take ourselves there. The confluence, thou sayest. I'm afraid so, my friend.
Thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart, unto whose sanctuary we delivered the 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 owing to the knowledge to our comrade Moonbreeder. Moonbreeder. Moonbreeder was an authority was an authority on etherology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of a parent's example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. Hmm, haven't you gone to see them yet? Oh my god! He hasn't paid his respects? Hey, Gwiv! Hello! Hello, hello, hello. I remember seeing a YouTuber drinking it when he went to Pakistan. Remember going, never drink that to myself? Nah, I I love lassi. Lassi is just a this is a like a smoothie, kind of. And someone just described it as a yogurt milkshake, which like also checks out. It is kind of like a yogurt milkshake. It's really fucking good. But yogurt is gonna destroy me. We'll make it work. So Rian Jay has not gone to see Moonbrita's parents yet. It's been so long. I should have done so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. What? As it hath, the many times I thought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus have I kept my silence. Oh no! Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence, and I shall face that which hath been long been overdue. If it's settled, then let us be off. That when we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Kit. 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 I think it's Kit. I have to accept both of them, right? Yeah. An unsettling change has come over Charlien, but together we will divine the underlying cause for the forum's callousness. As I mentioned before, however, questioning the councils directly is a fruitless endeavour. They seem to have already come to a consensus as to what, and how little, they are willing to divulge. Which is why I began scouring Charlien's archive of historical records for any hint of a connection to the final days. Suffice it to say that progress has been slow, there are only so many dusty pages one can skim in a day. But now that I have this band of willing reinforcements, the search should proceed with should proceed all the swifter. Let's reconvene outside Numenon, shall we? Okay, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> exit the annex to the right, and you'll find the archives on the western edge of the woods. Well, you're gonna have to wait, bestie. I got other things to do. Whew. Oh, my jaw is jawing. Can you guys hear my lock jaw? Crazy right now. Oh, 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 oh. What's up? What's up, Stinky? What's up, brother Stinky? Are you two Stinkies just stinkying up over here? Y'all just stinking up the place? Are you having a glam off? What? 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 <laughs> Okay, let's see. Fifth Avenue bound. Yeah, let's go do this. I want to go to a new place. That sounds fun, but I promise the lads day out. Exactly. I got some boys to attend to. Are you Kit? I'm already tired. It's only been three hours. Holy shit. Well, now this is a rather, this is a rather a lot of sun faces. Are my library books overdue again? Not to our knowledge. We're associates of Kryl of the students of Baldessian. We seek passage to Thavne and I understand that you can assist us. Ooh, look at her earring. She's got a little like crystally earring. I love it. A little etherite earring. Ah, the test subjects. Welcome, welcome. Test subjects? Test subjects? 
Oh, you hadn't heard? Well, then allow me to explain. What the fuck? So in order to travel to an etherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess... To seek out while you're a mess of ether hurtling along the live stream. The inconvenient but in incontrovertible limitation of etherite teleportation. What if I were to tell you that there's a way to travel to an etherite without being attuned to it? What? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've labored to make such travel possible. That people might move around, move about more freely. And we've finally done it. We've created a new kind of etherite that doesn't require attunement. That is crazy. It's truly, that changes everything. Well, my language may have been a bit misleading. The user needs the user need not attune to these etherites, but the etherites themselves must have been pre-tuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between two points. But it just so happens that, that of a first test pair of etherites, one has been installed here in Shalian and the other in Yedlamad, Yedlamad, a port town in Thavnir. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Raz Razadhan, and indeed we owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of the alchemists. So to sum up, where to test these etherites? How fortuitous of you, or for you. I should mention that an accent has impaired my ability to channel ether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these etherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued within will whisk you away without any effort on your part. This sounds too good to be true. Vertival dream come true. And far be it from me to worry about such things, but do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission required is yours, so assuming you're willing, we're all set. It may come as a surprise, but we're actually we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the live stream. In the statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. Or awry. But it's plain that you aren't most people. Hehe. <laughs> Mistress Crown truly knows how to pick them. I am not like this. This I'm not comfy with this. Why are we all like? Are we like? Are we actually gonna go through with this? Did she just tell you that you and the boys are the first monkeys fired into etherite space? Literally. Yes, you got it. I feel like I should be more concerned than I am. Pepper seems a little bit too blasé about this. But I might change the subject. Are Master Wilson and Mistress Blowita, Moonbreeda, Blowita, there's no fucking way Moonbreeda has Breeder in her name and her mom has Blow in her name. I'm obsessed. I'm not present today. We didn't hear. They recently resigned the post. The expertise was needed elsewhere. The large scale project helmed by the forum itself, as I understand, but I'm not privy to the details. I see. Oh, oh my god, chat! Whew. I feel like Pepper has been through weirder shit than this. No, you know what? You're right. True, true. Pepper has gone through worse. Pepper got zapped to the fucking first. This is nothing. This is nothing. You're right. Any other questions? No? Then let's get going before you change your minds. Please see your preparations and head outside to the Etherite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Chat, I'm so tired. I am so sleepy. Pepper watched the man she loved die in front of her, so that's also worse. True. Pepper has literally gone to hell and back. A little bit of funky teleportation is nothing. Oh, I know. I did eat. I did. I ate. I had sugar. I, ha I, I should be fine, but I'm so tired and it's only 10 p.m. I'm not wussing out. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just, I'm just fucking exhausted. Um... I can also guarantee that when you get to the sex area, you're gonna be energized to hell. Good. I need to WALK my dog. So I'm gonna take another pause here. I am so sorry, but the puppy needs to poop. I'll take Waldo, please. I really wish I had someone here to like 
take care of my pup while I worked. It's so frustrating sometimes having to be like, ugh, I guess I'll go take care of the dog. You know? Uh, I took a nap during the stream. Did you? How are you feeling, dentist? Is it a good place to pause? Perfect. Where's Red when you need him? In fucking Florida, bro. Also, hello, Sarnix. Hello. Thanks, Todd, by the way. Okay. Okay, chat. It's BRB time. I will take the boy out. I will take the boy out for his walkies. Y'all want to see him? Let's see if I can grab him. Let's see if I can grab the boy. Waldo! Waldo! Come here! Come here, monkey! If I ever say no to seeing Waldo and me. <gasps> Hi, Bubba! He's my big marshmallow. He's my big stinky boy. All right, I'm gonna take this boy out. And then when I get back, we will continue with the MSQ. Right, Waldo? Right, Mama? Yeah? Okay. See y'all in just a Sam Kent.
What did I just come back to? Ooh, ooh shall we bother you? Ooh, ooh? Do you know if Peppa Black wasted me? Ooh? What the computer announces when you return? <laughs> it's setting the scene, setting the stage. All right, chat. Don't worry. I'm not going to bed. I'm not sleeping. But... I am so tired. We'll see how much I can get done. I'm at that stage of like sleepiness where it's getting harder and harder for me to read. So I'm hoping we get more voiced cutscenes coming up. Finish the whole thing. Um, ooh, ooh. Do you know if Peppa Black wished in me? I tried sending a towel, but it didn't work out. <laughs> Hydaelyn's EP soldier. That's me! Oh my god. I need, I need a little meme of Pepper being tired with Hydaelyn's EP or EP soldier with it. Oh my god. Did I just fuck up my ear? My pin got caught. Okay. Hold on. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. I just gotta let you know your Twitter's one of the most out-of-pocket accounts on my feed. You're welcome. You're welcome. I live to serve. And I'm glad that I could provide cursed content to everyone on my feed. <laughs> Hi. What? What are you kicking about? Waldo does this thing where he goes... Has crying happened yet? Pfft, no. Me? Crying? No. Yeah. I already cried twice. And it was before we even got to Charlian. It was during the cutscene, like, on the way to Charlian. Waldo said thank you for the end walkies. He did. He really did. Yeah, my this is my dog Waldo. He is a Samiad. He's got a big butt, pointy little ears, and he's chubby. He's a big chunky boy. And we love him. And he is the big baby. He is! He's the biggest baby. I took him out to pee. He peed and then pulled me home. I really wanted to try at least getting him around the block because I thought that that would like wake me up as well, but he said no. He said, sorry mom, I am not interested. So fucking lazy. Okay. I made a hot chalky. I made a hot chalky. So now, that means I accidentally. There we go. Since I made a hot chocolate, that means that I can hopefully stay alive. Let's see how well, how well it keeps me up. Oh my god, my hair. With marshmallows? No, there are no marshies. Ready? We good to go? Oh, I only have red in the party now. Bye, Matt. All right. So who am I talking to now? Wait at the Etherite Plaza in Old Charlian. I shall do that. Hello, game. Okay, hold on, hold on, chat, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. So which way do I go to get out? This way? Okay. My frames just like plummeted, but I think we're okay now. I think we're good. Oh my god. 
Okay. Is it snowing? Is it fucking snowing here? Oh my god, hello? Right. We're all set. That's how Kit sounds. Did not expect that. Just the four of you, was it? Three. I'm already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. Oh. True. You are? You were there. Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. She kind of sounds like... She sounds like a more pitchy Stola. Yes, right there is fine. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. The ether. The ether, boys. The ether. Oh, and one last thing. What? You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck. What? I have IBS! Why would you tell me that now? I'm gonna shit my fucking pants! I'm gonna piss, shit, come and puke! This bitch. Pepper now has enhanced IBS. <laughs> oh my god. I do love that Thancred was like, what? And Urian's just like, hmm, interesting, interesting. Oh. Was it Razathan? Razathan? Thavnir, home to city-state Radzathan. Radzathan. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another <gasps> until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos, in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. For a time. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? Is this the sickness that she was talking about? Oh, girl, don't What puke. chance? Oh. He did. <laughs> Against such an insidious <laughs> foe. <laughs> the Stinian really said, these fucks. <laughs> Oh, this place is so pretty. My eyes just got really like, like watery. <laughs> Y'all okay? Oh, the IBS is hitting, huh? Oh, bro, look at Thancred. Oh, <laughs> he dead. I've seen fairer faces after we a bout of bad shellfish. Good. Which hole is it coming out of, besties? Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. Who farted? I smell that. Uriange, was that you? I know it was you. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. Uh-huh. <gasps> Thank has a camel toe. Don't let Estinian roam the markets alone. 
He's alarmingly bad with coin. Isn't he poor? Wasn't that one of the one of the bits? He <clears throat> oh. Oh, honey. I know it don't smell good. I thought it was Urianje, but I guess it's Nankred. Yeah, girl, get out of there. Get out of there. You don't want to be beside him. But wasn't that a thing? Wasn't that a whole plot line in um in Heaven's Ward where he was like broke as fuck and you had to like lend him money? Oh wait, I didn't get to read that. You managed to will yourself to your feet, but given your condition, will you be able to reach Astinian in time? God, I fucking hope so. Search for Astinian. Let me speak to Urian Shea first. <laughs> oh, he he did. <laughs> no stopping our champion. Now, hey, my pizza's sold. Now, quickly find a stadium before he. Bleh! Oh, oh, this a challenge. Oh no, nah. Pepper said I got poop. Pepper got the the, the fucking the shits. Okay. Oh, <gasps> are there elephant people here? Nah, I'm gonna lose my marbles. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Girl, stop fucking farting, bro. You think if I had two and I'll stop farting? Yo, is Red dead? You okay, bestie? What happened? Is it from all the farting? Oh no! I'm sorry! I'm trying to get to you, but I keep farting! Are you okay? No? The traveling here also hurt you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't help you though. I'm sorry, I have to take care of Estinian. I gotta do some babysitting. Well, look at the corgi! Look at the little corgi bum bum! You there. I need three drinks. Something that helps with ether sickness. By the men Menusia, the traveler. Uh, I mean, greetings. Greetings and welcome. You're wise, good sir, to come to me. My special Amra Lassie! Ah! It's only the finest and freshest ingredients. It's famed for calming unruly bellies. By way of a warm welcome to Thavnev, I'm pleased to offer it to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gil. For three bottles! <gasps> There's an elephant, dude! Hmm. The price is high road robbery, and you want to say as much to Astinian, but you realize any words of warning you cry out would be accompanied by your last meal. <laughs> you must stand before Astinian and use and using gestures, deny that the deal is fair. Okay. Alright, Astinian. I'm sorry, babes. But I must, I must emote. It's deny time. Where's deny? <laughs> you say lassie? I say lassie. I pronounce the A a little bit heavier. Hmm? I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? They're robbing you. Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie. This merchant is swindling me. Yes! Whoa! Sincere apology, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually 1,800. Aha, uh -huh, and 90 gil for three bottles. That's what I fucking thought. That's better. <laughs> that confusion would have been quite costly for both of us. Very well. Then, your coin. Here, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. I'll be back after, explore after I've explored the town. I feel like I should follow him. Are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna be fine? Do you want me to call for aid? Oh, there's a hippo! Sorry, bestie. There's a hippo! Oh! Oh. Oh. Well, I guess he's definitely no more now. It was nice knowing you. I hope I was in your will. 
Where am I going? What am I? What am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, up here. They're up here. <gasps> this place is so fucking pretty. This place is so pretty. I want that elephant. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Get his ass. Get his ass. Yes. Oh. So close. So close. Here you go. Have this. This will help you. This will settle your belly. Alright, it's be the 12. My stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heart fell thanks to the Anistinian and to the fine fruits of this land. This theme sounds like it came out of fucking Black Swan. Not Black Swan, Swan Lake. You were in time? Excellent. You spared us Tataru's wrath. Sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too. I just know their farts smell bad. Right, I'm ready to get on with it. That lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. Ooh, my cat ears are hurting my head. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. What'd they say? Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to check it in a second. I bound it, tis the most I could do against this heat of short shedding my armor. What did he say? Oh, the hair! Oh wait, he has a ponytail! Okay. Wait. Hear me out. Hear me out. His hair just got extra pullable. May I ask where you got the cord for it? Local vendor. The man said it's Thav Thavnerian weave. Tough and not easily unraveled. And how much did you pay for it? <laughs> and how much did it cost? 9400 gil 9400 gil Estinian a steel I was told is nothing fancy but I've always valued function over form Estinian that's incredible I dare say not even Alfino could hold a candle to you this man I want to protect him. I need to protect him at all costs. <sighs> it's not uncommon for merchants to set the price is high, but it doesn't seem excessive here. Are all Hanish, Hanish merchants so unscrupulous? Unscrupulous? I expected the zoo dragon to put up more of a fight. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna tease him. On that subject, I should refrain from making comment. Yet I cannot help but observe the merchants seem overzealous in the, their pursuit of profit. Claiming Thavnai as its domain, the nation of Radzat Han hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there were the Arkasadara, Arka, Arkasadara, 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 a Matanga tribe indigenous to this land. Over time, they came to be joined by other races, and through their intermingling, and, and through their intermingling, a culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over. A development only aided by the oh, but aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint betwixt east and west. All of this hath combined to make a trading power of Rads at hand. Yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through judicious governance, 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 and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence, given that merchants at a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. 
Just so, the opportunistic pricing is a, is rampant Doth suggests that oversight is just weakened. I cannot fucking read you, Oriange, please. I'm too fucking tired for this. Or mayhap that the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical, I. We've not to lose by learning more. So, uh, so, uh, we seek out Carl's acquaintance. Shall we see what information we can gather here in Yedlamad? 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 Mm. Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying stop, but we'll make up for it. My hair, everything right now is like bothering me. I'm in that stage where like I'm just super like physically like fidgety and irritated. Hold on, I have a fit for this area. Boom. Because isn't this Thavnarian? It is! It is! I blend in with my people! <laughs> I blend in! Wait, do I have... Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. This is what Final Fantasy XIV is all about, besties. This. <laughs> mm. This place is so beautiful. I'm at a loss for words. I'm actually at a loss for words. I feel like I teared up when they were like, when they were showcasing it. It is so, it is so gorgeous. It is so South Asian inspired that I'm just like, what the fuck? Like I'm struggling. I'm like absolutely struggling to find the right words, but it is so, it's so colorful, it's so pretty, it's so rich. Not into the scalping, but like, it's so fucking gorgeous. I want to explore more. On low tide. Stomach behaving once more, thank her desire to get to work. <laughs> In the live reveal of Enmark the dead was explained, they decided to give him a new hairstyle because his long hair was clipping through his armor. That's funny. And so they made it canon that like he's just bad with money and bought an over an overpriced elastic. I love it. I love this for him and for us. Oh yeah, and it's too hot for him to have his hair down. Yep. I saw Vietnamese stuff in Stormblood and was like, oh, I'm so very happy to see this, right? Like Sometimes I just don't know what to say or feel, but I'm just like, huh. Huh. I didn't think that, like, I would see something that, like, felt like home in this game that so far has just been, like, incredibly white and more, like, eastern, you know? And I just, like, I hope this is something that they maintain throughout the next, like, expansions, you know? Give a taste of, like, everywhere. And, like, this is also, like, so disheartening, you know, hearing still that, like, in Final Fantasy 16, everyone is white because it's supposed to be, like, European, like, medieval Europe, even though medieval Europe was not all white, you know? So it's like, how do you fumble that but, like, excel so well here? They pulled this off better than Genshin. Don't even get me started. I used to love playing Genshin Impact because, like, I just I, the game was very, very fun. It was like addicting. And then they came, they were coming out with the Middle Eastern area, and I, I was very excited. I was like, oh my god! Like, again, like that same feeling. I was like, am I gonna be able to see like a rendition of my culture in this fucking beautiful video game? And then they released all the characters, and they were white. They were all white, and they were all- they all looked terrible. They looked hideous. They were ugly. 
like the characters had these like Middle East in inspired names, but they were they were white. How do you fuck up that bad? And I mean, like, that's like another conversation for another day that like I don't have the, I guess, like position to, to hold or to have the position to to speak on. Or the, the privilege to speak. I don't know. I can't really form the sentence properly. But it's like, there is something that needs to be said about, you know, certain parts of the world and how they view and how their, like, colorism and racism is, like, depicted in their media. Um, you know, like, stereotypes and whatnot. There are certain parts of the world that, like, frown heavily on dark skin and would rather not see it anywhere you know um but it's not my it's it's not i feel like i i don't like i don't like talking about it because it sometimes makes me very uncomfy you know because like i know it could be taken out of context and stuff but I usually make my avatars female and dark skin and it upsets so many people. Why does it upset people? Sadly, Final Fantasy XIV still falls victim oftentimes. Oh yeah, no, don't trust me, I know. I will never forget my disappointment with Stormblood and how like Lise was the white savior to all of these dark skinned Alamegans. And this like privileged little white girl was like, oh my god, help us, help me out. And to these like poor, traumatized, like darker skinned, you know, like people. And then what they did with the, um, I forgot the name of the snake race, but how they like prayed to like Lakshmi and that was a white fuck, they, they, <sighs> Does, I, I don't, I don't even, I don't have, I don't have the, it's too, I'm too tired. I'm too tired to, like, have this, like, conversation. I'm not even gonna lie. I, like, nothing disappointed me more than seeing that beautiful goddess end up being a white woman. Like, really? Yeah. You stole is another victim. Yeah, you stole it and thank her got whiteified. That breaks me hot as well. But why is fantasy not about me? White people. I know. White people have everything and it's still not enough. It's like, um, the way that I see it sometimes, like, let's use Little Mermaid as an example. Little Mermaid is, they, they, in the live action one, she's black. Awesome. Great. Well, well, she wasn't black before. Okay, so if you have a problem with it, watch the old movies. Like, we can't cater to you all the time. Also, wasn't she from the Caribbean Sea? She's Atlantean, but like, isn't it like in that realm? Look at Sebastian! Like... How dare she not be an actual fish? She's a mermaid? That too! She's a fucking mermaid, bro! Mermaids aren't real! None of this shit is real! I don't know. I hate it. I make that- this joke all the time when people bully me for like my body hair and stuff. And it's like, you know, like y'all claim that you love fantasy. You, like, you watch these movies and shit with these demonic women with, like, a hundred arms, pussies that have teeth, and, like, razor-sharp fangs, and you want to fuck them relentlessly. But the second you see a bit of body hair on a woman, you're like, whoa, what happened to liking fantasy, bro? I could be your werewolf girlfriend. You don't want a werewolf girlfriend? What's wrong with that? Arr! When it's a full moon, we can roleplay that I'm going crazy. <laughs> I heard so many arguments. She's already an established character and she's white, so changing is unnecessary. And I was like, it's fiction. You can do whatever you want with those characters. Literally. Literally. I don't know. 
I don't know. It's like when like it's when people it's like when people also get mad when like you know cosplayers of color cosplay white characters. It's like, bro, they're not real. <laughs> like they're not fucking real, dog. Like if you want to play like if you really want to play that game, if you really want to play that fucking game, we can play it. Like this is a poor example cuz I haven't seen Sailor Moon in a very long time, but just bear with me. Let's talk about Sailor Moon. Okay, cool. Women of color cosplaying the, the characters. We love it. We love to see it. I just, I love Sailor Moon cosplays. Let's fucking go. Oh, but they're not, that woman wasn't, like, they're not brown in the show. Like, Sailor Mars isn't brown. Sailor Mars isn't black. Yeah, well, Sailor Mars isn't white either. They're fucking Japanese, bitch. But when the white bitches cosplay them, it's okay, right? When the white girls with the big tits cosplay them, it's fine. Because that's accurate, even though it's not. Because they're not Japanese. So technically, they sh they, it's not accurate either. It's not accurate either! The people who do that are just racist and take it into fantasy? Oh no, that's literally the case. It's just racism. That's all it is. Like, at the end of the day, it's literally, it's just racism. She gonna be black or brown today? Exactly. I don't know. So dumb. But we take what we can get. And that's a sad reality, right? Because, like, you give me a crumb of representation and my pussy is fucking wet. You know? Like, Yennefer being cast as a brown woman did so much for me. The fact that, or the fact that I cast a brown woman as Yennefer, like, I, I lost my mind. Because, like, I love, like, sorceress, like, I love, like, I, I just love badass, like, sor sorceresses, sorceresses. And they're always, they're always white, you know, like, va like, vampresses and shit. They're always a white woman. Anytime I see a character that's, like, kind of spooky and has, like, long black hair, it's, they're always white. But having it be a brown woman this time, I was like, holy shit, that's me. Like, holy, holy shit. That's me. That's me, bro. I'm that cool, badass, hot witch. Like, actually, for once. Um, you know? It should not have taken that long for me to find a character like that. But, alas, here we are. I think people need to let people do whatever they want. If you're a person of color, you should be allowed to play whatever you want, cause whatever you want. Yeah, no. Yes, you should be allowed. But unfortunately, we don't live in a world that's that um um accepting, and it sucks. And like we can we can wish for the world that we want, but we have to be. But you can't be ignorant to what we have. And it's super it's super important to call that shit out. What static shock? What crew? Oh, it's a DC show? Yeah, no wonder I don't know it. Animated cartoon by Young Black Superhero? Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, fuck yeah! Nah, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it, but that's fucking awesome. And it was actually good? Okay, that's the best part. Y'all ever, like, see a show that has representation and it gets canceled or it's just dog shit and you have to like you just have to be happy that it existed <laughs> i was um <laughs> i was watching the um the vampire versus vampire hunter show that was on netflix that got canceled that had like um the the lesbian main characters and it was so the show was so corny and bad but I fucking loved it. I ate it up. And I'm so mad it got cancelled. Because those girls were so cute. Yeah, first bite. That's what it's called. Yes, first bite. <sighs> There's so many shows that I'm, like, missing out on. I heard, yeah, Miss Marvel came out and I still haven't seen it and I'm so mad. My folks saw it and they said it was actually really good. I gotta, I'm slacking. I'm slacking on my media, y'all. Okay. 
Y'all keep going off. I'm gonna continue this. Right. Let us split up and make increase in town. Pepper, the pier is yours. Once we have learned what we can, we regroup by the etherite. Off putting the Uthmir side of it, maybe. Alrighty. What's up, Sarnix? Alrighty. Let's go, let's go. Tell me down here, huh? Food? Fruits? Can I steal a little fruit as a treat? This crate is laden with fruits, but they are on the verge of spoiling. Oh, as if they've been left too long. Okay. Who's over there? Oh, that's Red and Ray. Ooh, the water is so blue and so teal. Gazing up from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles, with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels farther away. Oh. Wait, we can swim in here? Compared to other ports you have visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. I can swim in here! Can I go to the other side? Oh, I'm gonna struggle so hard with pronouncing these places. Teb... Tebkeik. Tebkeik. Usakeik. Oh my god, the rocks are so purple! Oh my god, it's so glowy! I'm gonna fucking shit. You can dive? Girl, I'm not fucking going underwater. I'm not. I forgot. It's like, I think it's like circle. I'm not going underwater though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The forbidden bad dragon. Is it bad that that's what I was thinking? Is there something over there? Apart from those two stinkies? You doing the fish? You doing the fish? You enjoying the view? What kind of fish you getting? What you getting? What you pulling? You want some? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, what are you giving me? What is this? <gasps> Biryani? Curry? Oh my god, look at you. Look at me. I'm getting spoiled here. I'll give you some hot chocolate because that's all I have to offer. <laughs> what? Oh, are you giving me your garbage? <gasps> wow! Fish! Wow! I wow! Yes! Give me your garbage! Yes! I will- I'll take your garbage, bestie. Thank you. You're so considerate. I don't know what I would do without you. You fucking suck. You're so real for that? I know. I really am. Hello? What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit. Though I don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. Business has never been this terrible, but I suppose things could be worse. Could be even worse. We could have a consortium to keep afloat, like Kalzal. I don't enjoy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation, I've come to realize. You're a traveler by the looks of you. Oh, you're a traveler by the looks of you? If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kalzal a visit. You'd be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, you'll find him at the Salt Wind Sails, the Harbor Guild building across the water from here. Across the water? Okay. There's something else that I'm missing. Is it over here? Yeah, it's over there. Ooh. What's up? Well, now, if it isn't a traveler. You're a rare sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide, a wide berth since that a cursed tower suddenly appeared on Narunair. Cursed tower? Oh yeah, the purple thing. 
If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no. They had to spawn fell fiends as well. We still have our lives thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is as good as dead. What will become of us? Only the gods know. Alrighty. And Emiscu's now leading me in here. This is where calls all is. Oh, there, there, there. Oh, they're in a raw. <laughs> Not stinky feet. Not stinky feet. The Dalmascans aren't coming? But we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't gonna help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire is at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's the tower sitting on our doorstep spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defensive defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame the foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. T. <sighs> This will be an enormous loss! Alright, alright. Forget about the Dalmaskins. Dal- Dal- yeah, I don't know. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce. Hand fresh produce? What do you mean? The ones just inspected fucking spoiling! We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hainish favorites. Our consortium work works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. I know all these things, Kalzal. I do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. And you are? <gasps> Wait, you're a foreigner, are you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. I see. That's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. Oh! <gasps> my, my name is Matsya. Matsya? 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 And I'm here to see Kalzal. Hello! You being ignored? Oh, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later then. Oh no! Oh, I feel so bad! I feel so bad. Why did that fucking break my heart? Okay, there's something here for me. This guy sounds like an asshole. I only cares about sales no matter the cost. Or profit rather, no matter the cost. Welcome traveler. Oh, gemstones. Sick. Is there anything here that I can... Okay, where am I going? I'm going this way now. Boop! Boop! Alright, so we're gonna go speak with Matsya. Matsya? Matsya? Matsama? 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 Yes? Can I help you? I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Kalzal too, did you? I'm Matsya, a fisherman of. Akiali. Akiali? Akiali? Akiali. A nearby village. I sell my catch to Kalzal, who offers it to foreign merchants. But he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway. He's a hardworking man, and I dare not disturb him. And I got glubs now. They give me glubs. Matsya regards you nervously. Um, if I may ask, what is it that you do? Adventure, you say? You travel the world helping people. Then, that must mean you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? I mean, I, I guess. You see, I've brought some fresh fish with me, the portion I can preserve, and I want to sell them. The problem is, I'm terrible with people. I have ever only dealt with Kalzal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. So please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? If you're willing, please let me know, and we can begin at once. 
The events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Interesting. What kind of camera do you stream on? I use the Sony A6000. Oh my god. Okay, chat. I am very tired. I am excruciatingly tired. I can't even, like, read anymore. I know I've only been- Oh, okay, I've been live for four hours, but still, I know I've, been, I've only been live for four hours, but, like... I can't. I think I need to take a break. I have not been sleeping well these last few days. And I think... I, like, tomorrow I don't think I'm gonna stream, and I'm not streaming Sunday, so I'll be streaming streaming Monday. So hopefully those next two days I can... I can fix up my schedule a little bit. Cat ears hurting brain? No, it's not the cat ears. I promise it's not the cat ears. Yeah, it's sleepy time. It's sleepy time. But I don't think I'm actually gonna sleep, that's the thing. It's just like... I just don't have the energy to read out loud it takes a lot out of me i'm not very good at reading so it takes a lot of like brain power and you know i mean you can like hear it like i start to like slur the words together yeah streaming energy is demanding it is especially when you're on camera too you know but i am glad that we finally made it to endwalker and i've made some progress in the story We've got a lot more ahead of us. So don't worry. Don't worry. Every, like, I don't think I'll be doing MSQ every stream, but I will do little bits and pieces. We will slowly hack away. I'm very excited. And I did only cry twice. I thought I wasn't going to cry at all. Those caught me off guard. Those really caught me off guard. Do we count me tearing up when we arrived in this area in Thavnir? Because I did get teary-eyed. I did get emotional seeing the area. <laughs> that doesn't count? Okay, good. Good. We need the actual tears. Like, the proper tears. Like, the ee -hee -hee. Yeah, not a full cry, so that doesn't count. Thank you. But Emmett? That got me. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let's do one thing, step out and listen to the zone music. Girl, I will do that sometime. I'll do that in the next stream. I will not be exp I will not be exploring anywhere in Charlian and and Razathan or Razathan um without y'all. Don't worry. I'm not going to be coming back to these areas unless it's for MSQ and I'm live, okay? I'm not a mean streamer, I'm just a sleepy one. And on that note, we are going to be ending the stream. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh. Thanks, Ray. I'm happy for me, too. I hope you all had a good time. I had a great time. I will see you all Monday night, if not tomorrow night. I mean, I will still be on... I'll still be- I'll still be on, I'll still be awake, I'll probably be in Imperium or something. But, yeah. We're gonna go raid Goth Balls. He's doing... something? I don't know what he's doing, but he's playing with Sarah, and I love Sarah. So, let's go say hi. Take care, friends. I'll see you next week. Bye! Don't forget to join my Discord server and follow me on social media that we can see all my shenanigans and get... I just don't want to go live! <laughs>